Welcome in everyone to episode 135 of the Bowcast Podcast. I'm host Goku Peng and uh Jomo, my co-host <laughs> Anacor, who I feel like uh you you look real different today, right? So you got you got fresh shaved, right? You look like you came like yeah. you went like straight up knife style, right? Like straight up mm. like sharpened knife on like a <laughs> whetstone. You know, nah, like do that. you know what the like, thing is though? I kind of want to learn how off. to do that. Not not a knife, but like a straight razor. But um Yeah, I mean you're more likely why don't you do um, like um like a safety razor? I have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no no, as in like those are fine. That's what I used in it. But um with with a straight razor, it means you can also do lines and stuff. So um and then also yeah, like good. you can get a, a, a closer stuff shade and stuff like that. That's the only issue. But obviously once you learn then you, you don't have that issue. But I haven't learned. Oh, yet. why don't you do it then? Probably yeah, yeah, I just, I just it, right? haven't. Yeah, you can, you can, yeah. So, um, yeah, I just haven't got around to do it yet. But yeah, this is the thing. Will... When I shave, usually um, it's still relatively dark. I think that's just because of how... Well, this is the closest shade face I've ever seen you in my life. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Usually, and usually I'll like too. leave it for a day, but I don't yeah, know. I'd, I'd left shadow. my beard for like ages and I was like... like what, well, what, what, what time did you shave today? Because I know it wasn't yesterday you shaved. You shaved today, Nah, no, nah, right? no. Nah. It was literally three hours ago. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah, yeah I was like, you had to be fresh, yeah, fresh. Yeah, yeah. You look like you, you have clean shave. You put some like lip gloss on, you know, shiny lips and stuff. Nah. You're blinged out with all this jewelry. I feel like you're feeling a little threatened by my hairstyle, right? You're like, dang, I'm going to get out styled by Caleb Payne. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> let, let me just say. So oh, obviously. Right, take, take a gander. Take a gander. For those that are watching oh. YouTube, it's all, it's blonde. It's actually blonde. Right. With some orange, yeah, which would have with some oh, with some orange, but that but but that that so the goal is to wash that out, right? I don't actually okay. want the orange, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well that's imagine, yeah. So obviously you're saying that, you know, maybe I was threatened by your hairstyle. But the thing is, is I came onto this show, yeah, just a bit earlier with yeah. the intention of seeing a clown in front of me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and... <laughs> Well, I, I, I explained it to Anacor before we start recording, but let me explain it to the audience. So I will honestly, I will show Anacor, right? Because I'm not going to show throw up like my email stuff for you all, but I will literally show Anacor because it literally, I, so what happened is I ordered not only the clown like paint, right? So, so I, I didn't hit legend by the time we're supposed to record that Tuesday, uh, my time. So I, I didn't hit it actually until the rotation until Friday. <laughs> um, so I came to 2998 <laughs> and the, the next day. And Oof. then I dropped all the way to 2800 the following day, oh like 2800 flat. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just couldn't hit it on two ELO. And then I, I went on a crazy climb after that. But so I ordered the clown plate. I also ordered purple shampoo. And I, I didn't know about this, but every one of my friends that pretty much dyed the hair DM me once they saw it on my Instagram. So it was like, <sighs> okay, look, if you're going to bleach your hair. Like, you got to wash out the orange. Like, here's what you need. You need this, that, and whatever. And everyone- Why does it turn hair. orange? I don't understand. Um, I, I don't know if it's for everyone's hair. I think it is probably for a lot of people's hair, but especially darker hair. So like, like our kind of hair. Mm. Um, I don't know. It's probably something to do with the pigmentation stuff. It's hard to like bleach. Because it was- I was burning too. I'll tell you all about that. But I was burning <laughs> that chair, right? In the, in the good kind of burn either. Okay. So it says, um, okay. So, so look, I, I'll actually screenshot this, right? And it shows mm -hmm. a date too, right? Three days ago. It says, unfortunately, we ran into a, a issue delivering, right? So here's screenshot number one. And then uh, screenshot number two, it says, it was delivered eventually to reception, which is, I was telling Anacord this, is weird because I actually have Amazon lockers in my apartment complex, so it shouldn't even go to any reception. It should go straight to the locker. And this is from Amazon as well on top of that. And then I said, uh, and then and then I had to call customer service because it never showed up anywhere. I checked the leasing office and everything. And then I literally reached out to Amazon customer service, and that's a customer service email confirming that I did it. And then now... It finally says it's been shipped again and the shipment date. And this was, it, it literally said it shipped 14 hours ago and it's arriving tomorrow. So that's all my so, evidence. Trust me. Yeah. I, I want you know to what? skimp out on a loss, right? I bleached my hair literally the, the soon as I could, right? But you Fair don't enough, think I want to get rid of this <laughs> clown mask meme thing as soon as possible? Like I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm also trying to get rid of the orange in my hair. So like the purple yeah. shampoo I'm, I'm waiting on too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fair enough. Just saying, obviously, I don't think you're lying, yeah? But equally, 
Yeah. It is very easy to finesse Amazon. So if a certain okay. blonde-headed no, no, no. individual don't, don't, don't yeah, went start, downstairs right? and was what? like, yeah, I'm reception. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, look, <laughs> there's, there's two things. One, I'm not bleaching my hair ever again, so I don't need two <laughs> giant bottles of purple shampoo. Two, I'm never going to be a clown mean again, so I ain't going to get two things of clown white paint. It literally was white paint for clowns, too, if you look at the freaking package. And then, yeah, you can literally see it. on the. You can literally see it. It says... Um, Bad color face paint, and then in, in the <laughs> description and in the photos, you will see clowns wearing the face paint. <laughs> like it's, like, it's meant for clowns. Oh, okay? man. I ain't gonna do it. All right, I'll, oh, I'll tell you about my bleach story before we get into YouTube right, comments because you know I'm sure you're dying to know. <laughs> next day, right? So, so right after we record, the very next morning, I go and get a bleach, and uh, I tell them, you know, and, and so I go in. Uh, it's like a Korean place. So, you know, I figured they know how to do the hair, especially like mm -hmm. Asian hair very well. And they do hair coloring. And so I just, I called them ahead of time and said, it'll take about four hours, right? With my kind of hair. And so they go in, we bleach. And then, and then she pulls out a booklet and she says, okay, after the bleach, what do you want to tone it with? What color? Right. And so I looked at the toner and I was like, hmm. So I just put like a light brown, right? Okay. I was like, well, what, what, let's, what let's was the purpose this. of this? Well, because 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 well, I think like pretty much anyone that bleaches your hair, they pretty much tone it, right? Okay. So it, it helps like get rid of some of the orange, right? And okay. it's just like because when people bleach your hair, most of you don't keep it bleach bleach. They also want to add some color to it to balance out the orange or just add some color, right? Uh -huh. Like I don't think anyone really goes and bleaches their hair and just comes out bleach, right? They usually have some type of color, maybe even blue, pink, whatever, right? Whatever they want to go with. So I go in, so I just pick like a light brown because I don't want to pick it dark because I was like, what the heck am I spending all this money on, right? Yeah. Just to yeah. just to tone it, right? And then I'm bleaching and bleaching, and I'm just staying, sitting there thinking, hmm, that feels like kind of a cop out, right? Why would I? Why would I come in here and bleach and burn my scalp, and then just get it light brown, like add some color to darken it, right? Like the whole point of this bet was to bleach it, bleach it. But I just didn't know what to say because she pretty much just like I think everyone just tones it, so she just said, "What do you want it?" It wasn't like, "Do you want a tone or not?" Mm -hmm. So then. While I'm sitting in this chair for like a couple hours, right? I, I just asked her, I was like, well, so what color is it going to be if there is no toner? And she pointed to like one of the hairdressers back. She's like, kind of something like that. And her her hair was pretty like blonde or like light, light yellow, right? And I just told her, I was like, you know what? And I really had in my mind that I didn't actually want to tone it, right? I just mm -hmm. want to like keep my word with a bet and everything, and make it look as drastic as possible. So I told her, I was like, you know what? Um, can, can, can Before we tone it, can I just take a look at what color it looks like? Uh, in case I want to just keep it at bleach, and she's like, "Yeah, that's that's fine, right?" So so I leave it in here, and it's it smells like chemicals. It's burning my scalp, right? And she's like, "How's it feel?" I was like, "Yeah, it's something burning a little bit." She's like, "Okay, if it ever feels like a little too uncomfortable, just let me know, right?" And then I can like end the bleaching a little early. You know me, man. I'm a freaking trooper. So I sat there the whole time. I didn't. I didn't. Not a peep. Not a peep, you know. <laughs> you know, I was focused, right? I started GBLing. I went nine and one in that set, right? <laughs> I, I almost hit. I almost hit like legend on that set alone, right? I eventually, unfortunately, didn't. But uh, but I went nine and one in my final two sets of that day, going into the next day, right? I was like, dang, I was like, I should have just GBLed here, right? <laughs> like I was scared the service was be good, but I had nothing else to do for three hours, right? Like she was hey, the burning probably else. kept you really alert, you know what I mean? Like that's <laughs> right. No distractions, right? Nothing. <laughs> None. Nothing. Yeah. And I had like little I had like little things cover my ears so it doesn't like deletions that hit my ears. So like I couldn't listen to music or anything. I was just I was zoned in. Right? <laughs> um and uh yeah once I finished my set so that was a little boring unfortunately I was just like on Discord and stuff. But so finally, she comes by. She's like, I think it's pretty much done, right? She was like looking at it. Like, there's just nothing more they could bleach. So we wash it out. And then I'm looking in the mirror, right? And I'm trying not to laugh because it looks so, like, different, right? So I feel like a goofball. <laughs> Look at this. And then, so I, I, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm just like, this is... This is real different, right? Because some people, I, I streamed a few times, like, especially to my patrons, and they'll come in, they'll be like, whoa, I was like, it's taking a second for me to get used to your hair. I was like, taking you a second. It takes me a second every time I look in the mirror, right? <laughs> <laughs> but imagine that when I first happened, like, it's just completely yellow, right? I look in the mirror. I'm trying not to laugh, right? Because I don't want to be laughing at myself while she's yeah. standing behind me asking how, what I think, right? Eventually, just laugh. So I sit there. I'm like, kind of smiling. I was like, um... I was like, yeah, let's just skip the toner. Let's just keep it like this, right? Because I was like, I don't want to skimp out. I don't want to like backpedal on the bed. Like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a sore loser. If I lost, I lost. Right? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fully embrace it. 
And I was just like, yeah, let's just go with this. Right? I think pretty much everyone tones it, right? I think I'm like probably the first one I said, let's just keep it bleached for like, since like for years, maybe since she's worked there, right? And all she said was, uh, yeah, I mean, she's like, yeah, that's a vibe. <laughs> I was like, because <laughs> I think she even her her mind, she's like, I don't know about this orangey look, bleach. Like people usually tell, but I think she didn't want to say no if that's what I wanted, right? So yeah. that's all she could say, right? <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so I walked out, and this thing wasn't cheap. I was like two hundred fifty bucks, but I walked oh, out. I was like, yeah, I know, I got a lot of hair too. Yeah. Oh my dude. Do you know what? Do you know what it reminded me of? Yeah. What? I never used to watch this cartoon. So uh-huh. I'm going to try and I feel like what the main character's name is Johnny, but Johnny uh, Bravo. Oh, no, it's not Johnny Bravo. It's Johnny Tess. Oh. Johnny Tess. What's that? Johnny yeah. Bravo has blonde hair. I thought that's what you were going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. He kind of sweeps his hair back to like. It's, it's because hair. um, it's because Johnny Test is has like the red bit. Above it. <laughs> Johnny <laughs> Test. Yeah, oh, I never okay. watched this before in it, but I just like. Uh, Yeah, I, just I Google Johnny Test if you all are curious. I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think I look like Johnny Tess. Well, I guess I'm it has a little bit orange, more of hair in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've never seen. I've never heard. I'm not gonna that. lie though. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty glad I didn't have to do it. You know, like Why? it just seems the like the burning honestly wasn't that big. Of, I yeah. mean, I have a pretty high paint tolerance, so like it. It wasn't a big deal for me personally. It seems like such a hassle. What's the hassle? Is, is what it seems like. It's easier it's for you because when it grows back for you, it's easy for you to cut around it. Yeah, my hair is already kind of long, so like when it starts growing out, it's going to look kind of goofy. Like you can't really, it's, if you look really carefully, you can see like some of the roots that's already starting uh, to grow, right? So it's a little bit dark on like the roots already. But um, so what you're yeah. saying is this isn't even your final form. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh yeah. Oh, I mean, once I get the purple shampoo, well, I don't know what's in this purple shampoo, uh, but it's apparently washed out the orange and makes your hair more blonde. So okay. like. I don't know. I don't know. So maybe, hopefully, the orange will get out and it'll be a little bit more black. But at some so. point in the future, you're going to be like half black, half yellow. <sighs> yeah, that song "Black and Yellow" is all about me. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it's but be uh, I reckon possibly yeah. by EUIC. I don't know how fast your hair grows, but well, yeah, I will. I won't say what events or whatever, but there's a strong likelihood I'll be commentating before then on some random tournament <laughs> so just be on the lookout for <laughs> official uh broadcast with me with this hair that's gonna be funky uh, too i mean honestly i'd rather have it be like the next day right because the longer there is a time between now and then so the old. weirder my hair is gonna look it's yeah. gonna look funky right and yeah. I, guarantee I was gonna request they um, are on twitter so they're not going to know what the heck i did right yeah. it's like when speedy showed up without a beard and they were like yeah what this is happened? the thing right? i was gonna request like a, a profile picture but i guess i'll wait until the event you can, you can take a photo. Yeah. Of What's funnier is I th- oh I sh- forgot to do it. I was gonna change. I got I could do it. I could do it like I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna change my um. I was gonna change my uh avatar in Pokemon Go to uh, have blonde hair. <laughs> 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 so uh, it's it, yeah. I forgot to do that. I was gonna do it um after my after I hit Legend. I just completely forgot. But um, <laughs> let's go. Oh look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's me. That's me. All right. Mm. All right, there we go. Um, <laughs> let's see how many how many of my friends noticed that. Uh, I was going to, but I got kind of lazy. I mean, if everyone wants to do it, feel free to do it and send it to me. I was going to Photoshop my Twitter profile picture, but keep the same photo, but just like completely blonde my hair. <laughs> yeah, please. I beg someone do it, please. I mean, I could probably do it if I have some free time. Let me take a look at my picture. No, I mean, but you know what? I you know if you ask someone else like to do it, it's going to be way funnier. Isn't it? Like, yeah. You, yeah, you know them. Get, you know them threads where they're just like, "Can you Photoshop this person out?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just they do, do the wildest yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, so that was me last week, and it's taking a second to get used to for sure. Um, I think at this point in time, both my parents have seen it too, and have they actually? They, they didn't really. Do wait, it. did you actually <laughs> like go to them and show them, or they've just? They no, just no, 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 no. They, they both don't live in California, but um, uh, but as in, like, did you, did you like? actively show them being like yo they they both follow me on instagram so they both saw it yeah yeah i just thought that they wouldn't be on instagram that day to see it in my story but uh (laughs) i guess it happened so i don't know i I, for the most part i think most people have been pretty complimentary i'll I'll be very honest it doesn't look that bad in it yeah it's probably like it looks pretty decent but again i'm also in la too 
And yeah. and so like like this is not that weird in LA. If I was yeah. living in Minnesota, maybe a different story, right? Uh, but in LA, like this is just like there's probably people like that look like this like every 10 Asians. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, this is the it is given very much like the lead of a K-pop drama. So <laughs> I think uh, it fits, yeah. Yeah, I was catching with some friends over the weekend and um K-drama. and I think both of them actually saw my story before they saw me because they haven't seen me in a couple uh-huh. years. And they're like, you know what? It kind of works, especially in LA. Yeah. But I was like, oh, the good thing you saw my story because I don't want to like freak you out when you saw me. Yeah. Like, the blonde <laughs> changed me. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, anyway, you're satisfied, right? With the hair color? Yeah. I know Ooh. I know you were scared that it was going to be a little too brown, right? But when I saw I, yeah, blonde, it was, I was like, it was you know that what? I can't. Also, that it was going to look too good. Yeah, those That's two things oh, were... Oh, so you were don't think it looks issue. that good. It's a little like... Yeah, and, and the thing is also, I know that there's potential for it to grow out. Yeah, so, uh, you know, that's... So that's so it's all downhill from here, too. If It's it's not it even is, that good, yeah, and it's yeah. even further... It's going to go further downhill, it's, I, I see. It's going down, yeah, yeah. And again, <sighs> I'm also glad I didn't have to do that, because... <laughs> <laughs> what were you like, worried about? I feel like it wouldn't be that bad. No, but do you know what it is? Yeah, it's like, I, I think I think it would look good. And I like, what's it... Um. You know, Ginger Ninja wrote on the uh, wrote on Twitter, being like, "I should do it." Yeah. Honestly, I probably will do it at some point this year because I think it would be a wave. But I one, I want to do it with um, one of my guys back home, uh, uh-huh. one of the hairdressers I know back home. But then also number two, like I'm moving from here soon, and it just feels like if there was any remote complication yeah then it's just like another thing i have to deal with there's not gonna be much complication everything this is like it, surgery yeah, this is just bleaching your hair. I, I know i know you're but more do you likely know what to have I mean? a complication you know, you know, if they're shaving like, the back of your neck with a straight edge uh, yeah i don't <laughs> know haircut. it's just it's just another thing that you know like uh, okay. i'd have to do and deal with which i'd rather not so you know so, so me personally like there's two things one i actually wouldn't mind even just keeping this hair color hmm. if it was one easy to maintain like you know you don't have to keep going and getting bleached because yeah. it ain't cheap and it's probably not great for your hair and two yeah. if it doesn't look weird every time it grows out right yeah because like if i had to if i could keep it looking like this for solid two months and then go back another two months that doesn't seem too bad but the mm-hmm. fact is after the first month it's already going to look weird right <laughs> so like yeah. i pretty much have to go back even more sooner than yeah. that if i want to keep it looking fresh and just yeah that is a bit awkward it's just too much maintenance i give props to people that actually do this consider- like neck is a good example right her hair is just straight up pink pink right yeah and like i'm sure that takes a lot of work to like constantly do i mean i think it looks good and she rocks it but like but having i mean to i already i already time, knew yeah. this was a lot of maintenance in general but like even more newfound respect to people that constantly do it to keep it up but uh um, yeah yeah it was uh it was a time for sure <laughs> it was a time a time but, you um, always remember yeah i and when i was walking around this past week yeah. i kept thinking like when i was like buying groceries <laughs> and walking around in the gym right the whole time i'm thinking like <laughs> Man, these people are probably staring at me right they're probably really looking they we're doing double takes right because of how lo- weird my hair looks but it's la no one cared <laughs> like like people didn't even bat an eye to be honest right um so it uh it wasn't that bad but we'll see how it looks in the future i'm just I, also i am curious to see what my barber's opinion is on it when i show up because he's the one that always cuts my hair he's gonna be like what the heck happened so uh, but uh, it is what it is. Um, okay, so let's get into the YouTube comments before we get into mm-hmm. the events and everything. Um, probably gonna be a lot of comments about congrats on your dub. Infamous Smash says, uh, yeah, Infamous Smash says he definitely got help. No chance he did this solo. <laughs> I mean, do you know what? Yeah, I'll say one thing. Yeah, okay, well, they didn't believe in thing? us. God, us. dude. Yeah. What do you mean us? Us as the in ro- you and your royal hey, you and the piloter, yeah. right? <laughs> like, the, you and, the royal you and the we. happen for you? <laughs> like, what's the like, us, right? Me and me, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah <I> they <laughs> didn't believe in you us. You don't need yeah. a couple of views to God get that did. legend yeah. that quickly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know what? Also, <laughs> yeah, I started like, uh, um, what's that? I started playing, I think, I think it was like a couple days ago or something like that. Mm-hmm. And... um. I nearly got to uh, second page, 
which was cool. Wow. So like top 100. But I lost I lost one game against a friend where like I had the move and then my charge move buttons didn't come up. And that like denied me the second page. And then I started to get tired and then went downhill from there. But yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, if I put my mind to it. Yo, hard chef working overtime for you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he actually didn't give me a didn't give me an easy time. I can't lie. <laughs> oh, you faced uh, him too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If his uh, if his match continues, I just missed the world map on Sylph and be able to click the tourney and plan my week or month with what tourneys I want to do without all the headache of being a part of eight different discords. I don't know. My time is limited. I feel like currently, uh, it is like you said about the five page document, and I just need to uh need the highlight notes. Uh yeah, I, I agreed. I think yeah, I think, I, I the, think so the talked about like map, back in the day. Yeah, the self map was it was a useful feature, but I don't know how many people used it because a lot of um a lot of I used a decent amount when COVID first started because they were all online tournaments. Okay. I did use it. Well the map yeah. map, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of servers. Well, oh, I know no, 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 to find tourney maps, like the tourney map. There was a tourney map for remote. Yeah, server. yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But like, I know um, a lot I, of servers didn't upload their thing to the map. So it would only be the ones that would really, because usually you think like, oh, yeah. a map would be for like local tournaments only. Or something. But that wasn't so bad though, because because not everyone did it. The ones that mm. did do it usually had pretty high participation. Yeah, oh, fair. Because enough. there weren't yeah. as many, so a lot there were a lot decent amount like five, six, seven rounders because mm -hmm. of that. Um, yeah. I will say, Infant Smash. Uh, I, I don't know where you live specifically, right? And you don't have to share with us. But if you're in a place, a region where there are locals, and maybe your area has locals, um, I I've been using the the tpci the, the pokemon company like event locator and especially of late there's a decent amount of locals around me like yeah. challenges not cups mm -hmm. but challenges i went to two this past weekend yeah spoiler i want them back to back easy 30 <laughs> points right there <laughs> there weren't a ton yeah. of people right it was five people per but and funny enough i got to buy them both <laughs> for some reason <laughs> round one round one buys um i did have to face x gerald both times though so it wasn't like the easiest competition by any means but um but yeah so that's a good way to kind of like farm some local championship mm -hmm. points if if you're in those area again i don't know what uh what region you're in or even if you have locals but um but i think a lot of card shops, at least in my area, are starting to host more, right? Because uh, when, like, last year, right, 2023, in the fall, there was, like, pretty much none except for the the one that our local James Sublation hosted. Mm -hmm. And now there's, like, there's, like, two or three every single weekend. You know, yeah. sometimes they're, like, a 30-minute drive, 40-minute drive, whatever. But um, in my opinion, it's, it's kind of worth it, right? Good good way to – it's a really good way to kind of really test the meta with the team before you go to a regional as well, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So It's mad because um, um, the – Latam locals only recently went live. I think it was like two weeks ago or like three weeks ago. And um, instantly, so some of my teammates are from Peru. If you search like Lima, let's say, for example, yeah, there's already six events over the next like, you know, couple of months, which is insane because it's like, again, a lot of um, a lot of places. If I, if I, you know, look at London, yeah, it took us three months to actually get our first event going. And, yeah. um, you know, these lot, like, just off the bat, they've already got, like, you know, two events one weekend and another one. Another yeah. Weekend. So, I mean, they um, have a lot of people that want to go, too. So those yeah. those local challenges, they're probably packed, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, But, yeah, great great to hear that, too, especially in Latium. Um, but, yeah, again, I don't know where Infamous Smash lists, but, um, but that might be a good way to kind of, especially if you're hoping to participate in a regional or international. And I highly recommend it. You know, I think it's a great... Uh, opportunity and honestly i mean if you look at this season a lot of first timers at regionals yeah doing quite well <laughs> gotta say you know a little spoiler for our charlotte segment um board says uh a quick correction quick correction corner rage fist damage is not increased by not taking damage it just increases with each use like holding the metronome item i don't know vgc but it's likely that the double strat uh, Caleb mentioned what was to use something like fake tears against your own annihilate, lowering its special attack, but also triggering the defiant ability and boosting its physical attack. Uh, congrats on putting Caleb in this place, Yannickor. Okay, yeah. So thank you for the correction, Board Sif. Uh, I heard it from I think I, I, heard I it think from you're right. Deep. I, yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I'm I, pretty sure Bortsev is right. I've heard it from Deep, who's no. not a BGC player. So uh, Deep's writing some misinformation. So you, you need to go, you need to correct your heart. I, there, I'm not going to lie. I actually think, <laughs> I actually think Deep is right. <laughs> Um, Wait, you think Adib is right? Yeah, because I watched a lot of damage as taken. Well. Um, so yeah, so the combo is usually um, uh, mouse hold using yeah. B up, 
And what uh-huh. beat up does is it is attacks um, the same amount of times as how many healthy um, Pokemon you have in your party. So usually you do it on turn one. You have four healthy Pokemon. It will do four attacks. It's a dark move, um, which is irrelevant here, actually. Um, but it also doesn't have a very high base power. I think um, the stat that Mousehold uses is also probably like quite low. So basically you're doing like pretty much zero damage to the ally labor, but you get four hits instantly. And then so your your Rage Fist goes from 100 to, I believe it goes up 50 each time. Um, so yeah, mm. so up to, how much is that? Like 300 straight away. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Okay, well, anyway, if, if everyone really knows VGC, feel free to... If you have to provide even additional clarification. But the way that Borsif describes it, it almost looks like it acts like Power Punch or something like that. So, um, you know, one of those moves. But I like that. I don't personally wish that's how Rage Fist works, though, if they were to give it to Nightleap in Pokemon Go, because I don't know how useful that is. Like, I feel like Shadow Ball is pretty solid. Yeah, like a Power Punch Ghost move. Like, I don't really, I think, I think Shadow Ball just has a little bit more utility there. Well, um, I mean, how much how much damage is Shadow Punch in comparison? Because well, amazing. it's not even that. It's just like a ramping up Ghost attack that does little yeah. damage, but can can you like? I don't think it has as much utility. I think Power Punch has a lot more utility because you're doing counter damage already and just constantly boosting you up, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, I feel like it just doesn't synergize well. Like, even let's say you're going against a Gelsons or a Trevenant, right? You're doing resisted counter, but you're doing super effective Rage Fist. If the Racers doesn't knock out the Jellicent or Trevenant or whatever ghost type you're facing, yeah, who cares if they land a Racers, right? You know, like whereas the Shadow Ball is way more threatening because if you don't shield it, it's over, right? But if you're especially open team sheets, you see Jellicent with Rage Fist, Ice Punch, Annihilate, you're not shielding, right? It's it's actually I feel like that matchup's even worse. Whereas with Shadow Ball, you can at least bait with the Ice Punch and force them to spend the shield, right? Mm-hmm. Or go straight for that the Shadow Ball to take them out. So um anyway i don't know how rage Fist was going to work in pokemon go pp but uh f- for our niantic listeners please take that into consideration uh you know i i'm no genius on knowing how we should make rage Fist work but um but i don't i don't necessarily think like a power or punch clone or something similar but in a ghost typing is the way um because if, if it's not significantly better than running shadow ball then like it just yeah, it's it's kind of like um it's kind of like Drain Punch for Beware, right? No one's really running Drain Punch on their Beware if they're using Beware in a meta. So, um, anyway, I just don't want it to be like a, a useless move, right? Um, that people don't use when it's like a signature, signature move. Because signature moves are supposed to be like really, really strong and have high utility. <coughs> T. Wildstyle says, I agree that Megas and Great League could be cool. Most Megas wouldn't really be relevant. I think the most interesting ones would be Mega, Mega Sableye, bulkier than no, regular Sableye, and then Mega Altaria, Dragon Fairy, and Mega Charizard Z, uh, which is Dragonfire with different moves from Terminator. Yeah, Char- Char- Charizard Z could be interesting, although... Or, or, sorry, sorry, Charizard X could be interesting, but um, yeah, that's going to be frail for sure. Uh, stats and Go are determined uh, through a formula that uses their stats in the main series game. So I pretty much know what the stats for most Pokemon should be. If you go to settings on PU Poke, you can change the Game Master version to Generation 6 Speculative, and that will give you what Dialga Origin, Palkia Origin stats will likely, most likely be. Caleb, uh, also to add on, Caleb is a breakpoint and bulk point hater, and unfortunately, we're never going to convince him otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I realized the second part, to be honest. I le- I- hey, here's yeah. the thing. Stat product yeah. is also timeless. High rank is also timeless. I, break I point, bulk points, respect that. Yeah. Break points and bulk points. Well, you don't have to respect that. That's a fact, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know, you can I respect know. the facts. <laughs> but break point and bulk points, um, yes, they may be relevant in certain meta, but if you ever change the specific attack, mm-hmm. so like if you ever change how much how counter works, right? The damage, or if you yeah. change if you change sky attack, for example, who cares about that knocked out break point? It doesn't uh, oh, it might it might still be going some I don't know, but but like it, it, it like certain things completely change, right? Certain matchups because it relies on you getting to the moves at a certain pacing or whatever. Um, so I I always I don't think there. I'm not saying there's no utility, right? I'm not extreme to the end that there's no utility in breakpoint, bulk point. But if it was me, 
I'm going. I'm going for the. I'm going for the stat product right there. I'm going for the high. That's fair like enough, in it. But I, I think when you build something with a particular like break point and bolt point, you're doing so with the intention of like either either one, unless it's already a high rank anyway. Yeah, then it's like you may as well, right? Um, or two, if it's not a high rank, but it's like you know something weird, then you're doing it with the intention of like, well, this is a second version that I'm yeah. using for a very specific purpose, you know. One other thing I'll add on to this is I know a lot of people bring up examples, especially Axe example of the Medi Slayer he ran to win worlds, right? He did so well. Two two counterpoints to that. One, no one's to say that without that breakpoint, without that Medi Slayer IV spread, Axon wouldn't still have won worlds. In fact, he might have won yeah. games that came were closer than that he ended up losing, but he ended up still winning the series, right? Like you, you can't just because someone did it doesn't mean that they're not good enough. Not to do it. And Axe is a good enough player to still win Worlds without no Medi Slayer IVs, right? But I think it, it did play into his strategy, right? But of course, he's a smart enough and talented enough battler that if he knew he had the rank one, he just plays around and he's not going to throw on charge attack priority yeah. every time, right? Stuff like that. Two is, yes, there are examples of people like Axon running them, you know, Medi Slayer to high success. Um, I honestly can't think of another example right off the bat, but maybe there was someone, right? I don't know. Maybe someone did really well with the Lickitung with the with the breakpoint against Ready Seal, right? Let's say how did that happen, right? <laughs> okay, sure. They won a tournament with that. Well, okay. guess what? The, there's way more examples of people winning tournaments with high stat product, right? <laughs> like, like how many tournaments can Rise Vacation win with this, you know, poor IV Pokemon spreads, right? <laughs> like, compared to the majority of people that keep winning these tournaments with high rank Pokemon. So, again... Those are my two count points. But like I said, I think the most important thing is whether you go for breakpoint, bulk point, or high rank, you need to understand your matchups and your matchup knowledge, not only with Pokemon in general, but with your specific spreads, right? Because um, if I'm running like a rank one Whiskash, I'm never throwing a, throwing a charge attack priority against a Gligar because I know there's no way I could win that charge attack priority. If you're a high rank Whiskash, hey, you could go for it, right? And maybe you'll you'll win charge attack priority uh, more times than not against opposing Gligar. So. That's that's my concluding thoughts on that. But uh, Cheese Girl says regarding surprise Wait, limited meta. Before, before you move yeah. on, um, yeah. so T. Wester was saying about how uh, you can check the, uh, um, the origin forms in PV yeah. Poke. So I've pulled it up. Uh huh. And how do you do it again specifically? Culture. So uh, it's in settings. Yeah. So you go to settings. You go right to the bottom. And oh, you do I see it. At the bottom, yeah. Gen nine. So uh -huh. okay. So. Origin Palkia is interesting because, okay, I think the moveset it has is not its moveset. I think that's just everything that you can learn in the main series game. So we ignore right. the moveset. But stats-wise, um, it has more attack and more defense. Oh, only slightly, but still more um, than standard Palkia. So stats-wise, it's a strict upgrade. Okay. Um, and then if we look at... Then look Dialga. at Origin Dialga. Yeah, so it's got Let's less see. attack uh by like about four four or a five lot more defense though yeah no not oh yeah 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 about so, like yeah, about 11 10. more yeah yeah 10 11 more and then and the same, same exact stamina so that's interesting so they both seem like relatively you could say strict upgrades stat wise so it'll be interesting to see oh my gosh you see all the moves they can learn <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i mean obviously that's, that's not the, gonna stay for sure but, yeah that's a big uh yeah. wormhole right there yeah, uh, so it's going to charge attack priority, but it does come away with more stat product at least. Yeah, and then if we consider the two, um, you know, the two speculative, uh, like you know, Roar of Time and um, and the other one, um, those seem like pretty much upgrades over Draco Meteor and also Draco Meteor respectively. Yeah. Um, so it really does come down to fast move, and then if it has. What what kind of secondary charge move they give it? Um, yeah, if Palkia uh, is like has the same moves as the regular, but plus some other stuff on Origin, or even yeah, or yeah. just even the signature move, Palkia think, Origin for sure is a strict upgrade, right? Yeah, more attack, yeah. more defense, same exact stamina. Mm -hmm. Dialga is the one that's like kind of hit or miss, but honestly, I think going for a little bit bulk and not not debuffing yourself is plenty of reason to just run the origin Dialga over the non-origin. I wonder if there's any specific matchups that I might lose because the dragon breaths don't um, reach a certain amount of damage. You know that, what? I can uh, set that for you. 
I can oh, send that for you. Sense. So let's let's assume that they're all best buddy, right? Because I, I think anytime you're running Dialga, you pretty much want best buddy. Yeah. So uh, let me just put... You know what? Uh, I'll just put, instead of Roar Time... Wait, is there Roar Time in here? Uh, there... Maybe. No, there isn't. Yeah, there isn't. So I'll just put Draco. Uh, this is not even a good... Uh, this is not even like the best comparison because... Uh, it's going to have a time, which is going to be better than Draco Meter. But let's just assume that it is actually just Draco Meter. So let's double check. 1251. And then uh, we'll just do Master League Meta and we'll compare. In the One Shields, um, in the One Shields, Origin loses Garchomp, much shot. Uh, I imagine uh, that's doesn't... probably because it doesn't get that. Uh, extra dragon breath damage because I know that best buddy Garchomp reaches a bulk point against Dialga, meaning that you can win the ones. Um, yeah, you. I mean, you win the zeros and the uh, you win the zeros and the twos. Mm -hmm. Whereas regular Dialga, I think. Oh, just the dragon breath damage just does too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't even have to throw a move with the regular one. Mm -hmm. Um, in the ones. Okay. Uh, let's look at the twos real quick. No difference. And in the zeros. Uh, so in the zeros, you pick up Landers Incarnate and Ursa Luna, and you lose Dialga head to head. It's not too bad. Okay. I mean that that's understandable because you just lose yeah, Charge Act yeah. priority. But if you have Roar Time, different story. So yeah. I think I think I would guess overall, Dialga is going to just run Origin uh, because the other flip side of thing is yeah you might lose it once against Garchomp, but you just two shield and come up with a bunch of energy, right? Yeah, true, true. Um, and I guess who's running Garchomp, really? Yeah, and then zero to one shields. If you're down a shield, uh, you beat Giratina Altered with Origin, whereas, so that's a pickup. You don't lose anything for that. And the two shields, you beat Kyogre, Thunder Kyogre with Origin. Okay. So, and the regular doesn't. So, yeah. So and then, let's hope and then, for... and then the one to twos, if you have one shield, they have two shields. You pick up Kyogre with Orchard Poles and Zarude, and you lose to Garchomp still. You pick up more matches with Origin, yeah. I think. But yeah, let's hope for a decent uh, move set on them both. To be honest, yeah, I wouldn't like be too... Dragon Tail or something, that's going to be kind of unfortunate. You kind of want yeah. the Dragon Breath, I think. I think I, I think I could also see them potentially doing... Because, again, like Iron Head isn't exactly a cheap move, yeah, but it still works. Um, yeah. But I could see them doing a, you know, uh, a different type of cheap move. I, d I don't really know what it gets access to. Um, just to sort of differentiate it from the normal Dialga a bit more. Which could potentially work, yeah. but depends on what that move is, really. I think Iron um, Head does have a lot of utility, though, because you have coverage for the fairies. Like, yeah. if you don't have Iron Head, you just end up getting walled off by a lot of the fairies. And... Mm -hmm. It's just going to be really RPS in my opinion. Yeah. Like even if you have like flamethrower, like that's just not as good as Iron Head against Fairy. Because the problem is, even if you land flamethrower for some neutral damage, you can't Dragon Breath down any fairies, right? So, yeah. like that's why Zacian's crazy against it because yeah, you debuff yourself with close combat, but the Dragon Breath aren't really doing anything extra anyway. So you're you're chilling, but yeah, yeah, it'd be very yeah. interesting. They're very interesting. Yeah. Shout out to Peepoke for the speculative too. That's really cool mm -hmm. to see. Uh, Cheese Girl says, regarding surprise limited metas for worlds, I feel like the most Niantic friendly version would be like they choose 40 Pokemon, give them a world exclusive costume, and have them spawn only around the event on the day before. Then only the costume Pokemon are allowed, and it creates yet more desirable, uh, desired exclusive variations. Also feel like this would promote more casual players to show up, even if uh, uh, even if only to spectate, that should be kind of cool. That does this conversation, cool, yeah. yeah, this conversation also reminded me of chess, where many top players have been playing a variation called Chess Nine Sixty or Fisher Random, where the starting positions of the pieces are randomized thirty minutes before the game, so players uh, memorizing opening preparation is mitigated. Many of the top most elite players have said that this format is more interesting to them, and I could see the same thing happening with some kind of limited blind meta eventually. So. Here's the only downside, especially for like worlds or like official TPCI tournaments. Uh, I don't think they have the time in their production because right? for them, like they want to, they want to showcase, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because on day one of worlds, imagine if day one of worlds just people catching, 
<laughs> like, <laughs> like they can't broadcast that, right? Like, well, they're going to have you a live well, stream. Like, that's going to be such Pokemon a scuff. Be the biggest laughing stock of like all yeah, the Pokemon it, games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it'd be like two. It just like for from a production value, it just looks so weird. Yeah. And then you could also ask people to show up a day early, but then that just completely changes the schedule for all the other. Like, you know, they don't like they're not going to change their entire schedule just to have Pokemon Go show up a day early, right? And then all the other games show up later. I don't know. It's just like I think logistically, it's going to be more of a nightmare or headache for a TBCI to run, and so they wouldn't go with that route. Um. So yeah, uh, honestly, if Niantic was going to put that much work into like a very specific, like like set up just for worlds right because they had to set up a lot of those things right just for like worlds participants or whatever i think if we're going to do all spend all that effort i'd rather than spend the effort to set up land like localized yeah, networks 100%. for yeah, for yeah. just the players so that we have zero ping yeah. like i would much rather have them put that effort in than some weird surprise meta that they set up just for players there um, i don't know how much this is true but um yeah. apparently um vgc hasn't been on lan the whole time that they've um, had Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, they don't need um, it though. Do like, they not? Like, no, they don't because so so. So they don't use uh, the network. To my to my knowledge, um, pretty much all esports do for the most part, right? Yeah. Any anything that plays like online, like you know, MOBAs, like art, real time strategy games, shooter games, all that stuff, right? Because latency is just terrible, especially at a live event, right? It just mm-hmm. looks bad and whatever. Um. VGC doesn't though, and I talked to VGC casters on why. Because for them, if they lag for like a second or two, it's term it's like slow turn based game, right? You lose like a second before you can't you can't input something, you can't click it, no big deal. You just press it again, right? The button comes up. Whereas Pokemon Go is a fast paced game and like a lot of like MOBAs or shooters or real time strategy, if you lag even just a second, it could change a lot of things. And mm-hmm. Pokemon Go, we all know a second actually can make a huge difference, right? Even if it just comes to like if the charge attack button shows up or not, that's a big mm-hmm. game changer, right? Whereas VGC, you know what, that's not I'm as necessary. More like if, if they're not using LAN, then yeah. they're like, they're, they're clogging up our, our network. <laughs> and oh, like, well, <laughs> yeah. But 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 so I mean that I get you, but I'm pretty sure there's like different Wi-Fi's like like Wi-Fi connections for yeah. the games, right? So like VGC probably isn't use the same one as Go, but I mean they're still but on like the same Wi-Fi plan. So yeah, it's could, I'm uh, yeah I'm no like Wi-Fi yeah. expert, so like maybe that's I, I still have no either, but yeah, 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 but but the thing is like oh, it's long. I would say it's it feels it feels kind of like a little bit too. Um, ludicrous for us to demand that vgc sets up land like to have game freak set up land <laughs> for vgc just so go got better connection when you could just tell yeah, niantic yeah, yeah. to actually set up land <laughs> for their players right like why would we force another game to set up land just for slightly better connection and that might not that wouldn't even fix all of our issues right yeah, i would say right true. you're still not playing at zero ping even if you know vgc is not on the same uh, not on wi-fi right mm-hmm. not on our wi-fi but yeah no no one it, yeah that's I would please not into. That's all I ask, right? Like all like very pretty much all the legit esports games use land, right? Mm. So And it would be um, so sick for like if if it did interact in that way where you could use it um land mode during locals and stuff as well. Um uh, I don't know if it no, would interact. It, it doesn't it doesn't really work like that because they they um to my understanding, right, and people could correct me, uh, like I'm not, I haven't been in the esports scene for that long, and I don't know the behind the scenes work as much. Um, for what what localized networks do is they bring a physical like server okay. to the events, and they set it up for all the participants, so that uh, and essentially they they set it up in a way so that the accounts are linked to that server as well, um, and so they're essentially hosting like a, your account on a separate server. What that means is that if they were to, let's say, release, let's say this would probably never happen. Well, actually, it is possible. Actually, now that I think about it, this is actually kind of crazy. Now that I think about it, if the first of the month ever lands on a Saturday or Sunday, and the GBL season rotates, have you ever thought about that? Because what if it's you're in the <laughs> middle of a regional international worlds, oh. and literally you. Like oh. a scald update happens middle, uh, not even scald. A bubble update on a zero happens in the middle of a tournament, 
at 4 p.m. Pacific or 1 p.m. Pacific, right? At Niantic time. Wait, wait, okay. Wait, when when does... The reason... It always rotates on the first. March? It just hasn't... April, May... Let's let's, wait. Let's let's take a look. Let me take a look at the calendar. June, March, June. So, okay. March is a Friday. June is Saturday. June is a Saturday. Yeah. Do you know what's happening June the 1st? PJCS. The Japanese... Uh, oh Pokemon Japanese Championship. Gosh. That's mad. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually mad. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the, so assuming Niantic continues this route, and I think this is something worth considering for Niantic people, that's going to be havoc. That is mad. The, okay, let me the, just double check. The rotation check. happening on, yeah, no, June 1st, June 1st, 100%. I don't know when PJCS yeah, is, first, but PJCS, June 1st yeah, is. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. uh, and then the following July is July 1st. So that's fine. August yeah, 1st mad. is not there. Oh, and then September 1st. But September 1st, I don't think a tournament will be happening yet. Yeah, yeah. that's like So right. that one won't be as bad. Yeah, yeah. But PJCS yeah. is already scheduled for the 1st of, of June. So, or 1st yeah. to the 2nd. It's a possibility that, because I think this year's December, PJCS was all December in one 1st is, December 1st, 2024 is also a Sunday. Oh. There's a strong chance there's a tournament then. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, and that's here's the thing, mad. right? That's these regionals mad. and internationals, whatever these tournaments, they're yeah. not hosted, they're not planned by Niantic. They're planned by TPCI mm-hmm. for their tournaments for T for TP uh, for the trading card game and VGC, right? So they're not going to say, well, we can't host a tournament on December first that weekend, right? Because of Pokemon goes like Niantic, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Um, it is every three months, but yeah december 1st would be a meta rotation because it's every three months you know what i don't want to say that we're the first people to bring this up yeah june 1st would be also a possibility yeah it's a strong possibility that we're the first people to bring this up dude uh and it's a good thing that the niantic people are listening right now because (laughs) yes (laughs) (laughs) you've got some time now yeah you got some time to prepare look if you want some praises from your supervisor because you brought this up take the credit right we don't need no credit right we don't even if we're the first ones to make this realization that that is massive though if you think about it because if if the meta literally rotates and they change anything with Let's let's forget any moves that they introduce, right? Let's forget like if they add fly onto a town flame, whatever. Them just changing incinerate and you bought a town flame completely changes the outcome, right? right? Um, and also like they they I mean they might not release the move set updates very very like so far in advance, but they usually do a few days, right? Yeah. So imagine the Friday before your tournament, they're saying, "Whoa, <laughs> you don't know what to <laughs> do. is going to get incinerate buff, right? <laughs> and Azura's going to get a bow buff." Thing, but all of a sudden, you're going to change your team, be like, "Yo, if I make day two <laughs> on Sunday, it's going to change. Yo, this town <laughs> going to pop. I just need to make the day two, and I'm good, right?" <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's for our be fellow brave. Niantic listeners. Yeah. Please take note and 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 maybe make the rotation a different day for specifically June first and December first, mm-hmm. because that also, could, um, that you know, could again, really PJCS it. has already been booked in for that time, um, but you know, regionals and stuff. Obviously, they need to, you know, the organizers need to prepare everything way in advance. They're not shifting anything because obviously they're going to do VGC and TCG on the same day as well. Yeah. Um, and they're paying money for the venue as well. Do you know what I mean? And so what what other recourse do they really have? Yeah, Probably. exactly. Uh, let me let me double check. There's nothing else. There's nothing on June 1st. Oh, yeah, no, because... Cause, wait, NAIC is not doing that anyway, right? Nah, the NAIC is the week after. Okay, okay. So there's, there's literally... There's literally none. There's literally... Yeah, so there's literally none. It's just PJCS for yeah. this season. Mm-hmm. But that's that could be pretty big. Yeah, that yeah, could yeah, be yeah. pretty big. There's also anyway. a possibility because um, what happened last season with uh that section of the season is we had um one event from, I believe it was one event from each region, um, and then NAIC, and that was it for that season right yeah um so santiago has obviously been announced but there's no date santiago last year was around that time period um we also had a the special event in torino around that time period and they haven't announced that this year either but personally i expect there to be an italian special event just because um i think at the moment europe are one 
uh, event sure of how much they would, how many they would usually yeah. have. So um, I don't think it would be that late though, because I think LA is still going to be the last regional in NA slash EU slash LATAM. It could just be Ocean. NA though, because again, like that season was when they did the last three. That's true, because yeah, because the last regional of last was, season wasn't yeah. Fresno; it was Torino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a possibility it could still be the case. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's kind of mad for <laughs> for that whole fun. weekend. Because <laughs> again, fun. like that's the only weekend before NAIC. Yeah, I yeah. imagine NAIC being the last event of yeah. the season makes it's sense. every three months. Whoa, so that is um, nuts. Yeah. That is yeah. nuts. Anyway, I say that. All that's to say, and, and now there's actually a precedent for it. Yeah. If you had LAN, if you had a local server at these mm -hmm. events, everyone participating would be playing on that server, and you essentially can set it so that these updates don't affect the players in this tournament. Right. And so that's how they do it for a lot of other games, right? Um, I mentioned this in a previous episode, but like for League of Legends at Worlds, they were at Worlds for a month, right? From the group stage to the finals. And all the teams that played there, there were multiple patch updates, right? And none of the patch updates impacted the players at the events. Mad, mad. They have patch updates like every week or so sometimes. They right? played for a whole month. Stuff. Well, pretty much. Yeah. What's going on for? But so so it's it's actually super interesting because they'll have like group stage like week one or something, then like a Swiss stage wherever, and then they'll have like and then, or, so or, or like I think group stage so Swiss stage was around the same mm -hmm. week or so. Then they'll have like quarterfinals one weekend, semifinals the following weekend, and grand finals the last weekend. But here's the interesting part, right? So they're really playing out weekends, right? Yeah. That's that's good for a few reasons. One, people around the world could tune in, right? Because a lot of people, less people are working on weekends, and two. It's really good for production because in between, they're not taking a break on the off days. Yeah. From Monday through Friday, they're filming content, right? They're interviewing the players. They're editing all the stuff so that leading up to like on grand finals, they're showing all these like five minute, 10 minute interviews and like hype moments, compilations of like, let's say these two rivals have faced off against each other for years, right? Let's say like Rubik's Master and Axon have faced off against each other for years and they're always fighting Duke Rise and Doombug. <laughs> yeah, Rise and Doombug, right? You could, yeah. They have time to edit all these clips throughout the years and, you know, interview them, like, what were your thoughts on this match and stuff like that? And you have like exclusive, like, Doombug talking about it while like the battles footage happening from 2022 Milwaukee, right? And all this stuff. And it's like 2030, right? Like, you know, That's they have all this stuff. So, so, and so they have all these cool moments and montages they could, put on as as like as they're prepping the finals right so it'll be like a 15 minute like you know pre-show essentially right uh, and they have like concerts and all this stuff so it's actually like so they're that's why the production value is so high um and i i give a big shout out to our production crew too right because i've worked with them behind the scenes and i know them very well they put together stuff pretty quick too you yeah, know especially because it's on the fly right yeah like they'll they'll show like a little they'll in, do little clips right even uh, like they've been upping their game like every season too right remember season one where it was just straight up five ten minutes of trivia for the breaks right now we got <laughs> yeah. little spotlight videos we got like highlight reels and stuff right, some of the right? trivia was dead as well you know some of it was like <laughs> hey yeah. if you got this wrong yeah i think you you're watching the wrong game yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. which which Pokemon was the main character Ash Ketchum's <laughs> favorite Pokemon starting? In, like, uh, it's like a Dodrio and Pikachu as options. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, so that's, but anyway, so that's why the localized networks um, are really nice for that. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, we might have made a pretty big, big discovery that could change the so. course of. I think so. Uh, let's, let's hope so. We let's have hope to see enough months. leeway. Four months, four, four months, months, roughly. Four months. Yeah, four months. Yeah. I mean, just like any big corporation too, like there's probably a lot of um, processes before they could make changes like this. But they got so time. hopefully this is enough time. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, you know. Well, they got to do something, you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. the science. Or, uh, yo, PJCS going to be real interesting, <laughs> yeah. right? Right? Uh, yeah. 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 That's going to be... Um, 
Yeah, let's see who's cheeky enough to bring a Pokemon that's just not good, but they're expecting a buff <laughs> midway. Because sometimes they don't say what the buff is, right? Yeah. Like, we didn't know Skarmory's going to be that good, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. imagine the, the random guy that brings Steel Wing Skarmory all of a sudden, wait, Star <laughs> Skarmory kind of cooking, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, that man. could be super weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Ma Davis says, strong work on the W Anacor. I can't say I was rooting for you only because after last week, I didn't think you had a chance, but it sure did make me happy to see you win. I'm not a Caleb hater. I was rooting for him in Portland, but seeing him finally lose a bet that isn't a Stardust bet is surprisingly satisfying. Well, hopefully the hair is surprisingly satisfying. God did. Yeah. 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 I, actually, I did get one comment on my one of my recent uh, YouTube videos where I had the hair. And uh, the comment was, wait, don't I go... Don't 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 walk near any schools, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> Something along those lines. I just responded. I don't plan on going near any schools in, in anytime <laughs> soon, anyway. So, yeah. But majority were pretty positive. Uh, yeah. Mont Davis also said daylight saving was not created for farmers. If they are at the mercy of daylight, why do they care what the clock says? You can read about it here, and there's like a whole like daylight saving time history wikipedia article uh it was first implemented in the u.s during world war one as a way to conserve energy by adding more daylight hours in the evening that i love this you know we're just learning so much about <laughs> random stuff that we would have never guessed so yeah, shout out to Maude davis and people educating yeah, us totally okay i'm gonna i'm gonna read that link so i have a bit more knowledge of it for next week yeah but that concept itself just confuses me there like what what because also you're in war implemented like, to conserve to con energy to conserve energy you're in war yeah like no I... during world war one but it doesn't necessarily mean it, it was oh the okay war. Not, yeah. not for the soldiers oh, okay yes 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 uh, yeah i don't uh, the soldiers it's not like it's not like the soldiers are like, 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 yeah, like, 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 like hey uh, um <laughs> no 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 we're, we're it's uh we're we're yeah. um Stay we're in the fall right now, so we're gonna wake up a l an hour later before we yeah. attack. Should we, the, should we uh, schedule, the other yeah. Yeah. schedule a battle for an hour we're later? We're this rocket an hour earlier now. So <laughs> hey, hey, sorry we didn't warn you, right, enemy country? <laughs> but uh, we we from the day saving so surprise. Yeah, we're coming. Yeah. This rocket showing up an hour early on your doorstep. Like, That's yeah. uh, Sun Tzu, yeah, the art of war. <laughs> day Dude, you know what's number even one, funnier? Three, five, and we're thinking it was implemented for war. And we're really thinking <laughs> these soldiers are like. Set, waking up in the submarines an hour earlier like Bro, god dang any, it's spring no, it's spring four we gotta wake up underwater a little earlier today <laughs> any new technology is usually used in war first yeah it's not so far fetched <laughs> just say <laughs> like new technology <laughs> uh, it's oh, too funny man. H Trainer Paul says congrats on the W Anacor I agree that roar time and spa uh, spatial rand uh, spatial rend are too expensive and I'll never use them unless the cost comes way down. But it got me thinking of other moves that could have in-game effects. Sunny day slash rain dance could be mm -hmm. used to weather boost uh, wild Pokemon or take away weather boost if you're hunting PP IVs on calm day, for example. Uh, fly or teleport could be used to distance trade with a friend. Ooh, that'd be kind of neat. Uh, I hope they revisit this feature with some quality of life improvements in the future. If anyone from Niantic is listening. I really like the weather, the weather thing. Because I feel like that's one thing that's kind of missing is, um, you know, we... I feel like my thing keeps on, like, focusing in and out. I don't know if that's going to help, but... Maybe it just made it. Special. I mean, your quality is so blurry for me anyway. So like, I don't even know. Yeah. Well, I see in post-production. <laughs> um, so what's it? Uh, yeah, I feel like there's one thing that's, uh, I don't know if it's overlooked, but they're never going to change the way that IVs and trading works, right? Um, or like, you know, that sort of stuff. So having, you know, it feels bad when you have a calm day and it's all weather boosted and you want to get something that's, you know, a high stat product. And there isn't really many, at the moment, there isn't really many alternatives that you can go to. There's like um, research and then trading it, which is not amazingly reliable. Do you know what I mean? You can only do so many of those. And then you've got the uh, the snapshots, right? So those are yeah. your only two ways of getting something that's not weather boosted. But um, having something like that would be sick, I think. That'd be really cool. It, well, especially also shadow too, right? If you could change your shadow encounters, right? If it's weather boost for shadow Ooh, and you could change yeah, that, that'd be yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. the thing that really annoys me is the legendary shadows. Yeah. Because they have a minimum IV threshold of like 444, four, four, whatever. So like, you know, when Shadow Reggie Seal came out, 
you can't even get a high rank one even if you try. Like the best you get is like a 4, 15, 15 yeah. or something like that. Or 4, 14, 14, whatever the like high spread is. You know, actually something I would recommend, and I would love to see this happen one day, you could trade Shadow Pokemon. Like, why not? Why is that not a thing? Because I think in my mind, if you could trade Shadow Pokemon, it makes these Shadow Raids even more useful. Yeah, now you're raiding all these Shadow Moltres or Shadow Articuno, whatever. You get a terrible spread on Shadow Articuno. Ain't no way you're going to use that in PvP, right? It's really right. not that relevant, but it could have some niche usage in some limit metas or an Ultra League, right? But you're not going to use it, and you can't trade it, so you're just going to trash it, right? But it, it, imagine if you could get a better spread, then you're going to raid a bunch of Shadow Articuno, and you'll just re-roll it with people, right? You'll save them to re-roll. Also, uh, like they're pretty that, rare, already right? at the moment, purified trades already take up a special trade so it's yeah, like just make the shadows know, special obviously trade. it'd be nice if they didn't make it to take up a, but like you know even oh, with the shadows you know why they got rid of it it's it's the purification it's uh it's the one you purify because you can't lucky because if you were lucky trading shadow remember so oh, it would be a minimum no, of like 12 12 oh okay yeah so so when shadows first came out and they kept it around for you like maybe a week or less you could trade shadow that's why some people have like shadow shadow um shadow hundo like a shot lucky shadows yeah, because bad. some people have a yeah, some very very few people. But because I mean, you're lucky even friends, bad, though? uh, it's pretty OP. Because think about it this way: hmm. if you if you have a shadow, if we both have shadow Mewtwo and we're lucky friends, right. we mirror them. Yeah. So now all of a sudden, it's it's at minimum 12, 12, 12 IVs, right? Yeah. If you get 13, 13, 13 or better, right? 13, 14, 14 or 14, 13, 15, whatever, right? Anything thirteen and higher on the IVs for all three stats, you purify, you get an instant hundo. Yeah, but I mean, you know what? When when they had the like the Mewtwo Shadow raids, yeah, you know, people were already doing enough where you you're very likely to get some sort of spread like that anyway. Do you know what I mean? So no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know how many Shadow Mewtwo raids you did, but I didn't get, I didn't get no th like thirteen, thirteen you, plus I Shadow did, I Mewtwo. I did any in it, but. Yeah, no. Well, then why why are you saying like he did? No, no. But I'm saying like if he did loads on Twitter because the whales were doing it. But I I rated like six or seven, and my spreads are all like terrible, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no. It's it's the odds are way way lower for sure, Anakin. Just trust me. When the when the base is a uh, when the ba okay, put it this way, right? When regular Mewtwo's out in raids, it's a 10, 10, 10 floor, right? When Shadow Mewtwo raids are out, it's a four 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 floor. How many people are getting like Hundo Mewtwo off of like just? Well, I guess you could purify, so add two. Yeah. But like how many people are consistent getting 13 13 13 or higher right with a 10 floor with a four floor it's like way lower yeah no i i think maybe the solution is you can't lucky trade shadows but you could regular you yeah yeah none. that seems like a pretty easy uh thingy to implement i yeah i mean i don't know how easy to code that but that would be that would be my recommendation i think to still allow shadows to be traded but um but uh yeah but not you know exploit it so you could get easy hunt purified hundos off of it mm -hmm. so anyway that is my thoughts on that justin kim Wu says congrats on the w anacor glad you're having fun with it and i and i like how it's ramping up the competition for next season yeah nah hey, man justin like let I me said, tell you season, hey I'm no London, i'm man. never slacking yeah. again right <laughs> yeah no i'm never losing the anacor again i'm telling you you're gonna be using <laughs> loudred and loudred for sure or ex ex explode when is it Explode? I think it was Loudred, which is Loudred, sorry, sorry Loudred, Loudred, yeah. Terrible. Loudred is going to have a, tank you. Have a fast move, you know, yeah. this last two seasons, we're using Ultra League Claude Sire and Great League Trevenant. Yeah. You know, it wasn't so bad. Really you kind of went like 49% win rate. Yeah. But Loudred, I'm I'm hope, I'm hoping, I'm predicting a strong 15% win rate at best. Yeah, that, Loudred's going to be like, it's going to be the, the B of an be. ABB uh, or just like, a third shield no it's going to be a straight out, like man. it's straight like a d pokemon right it's an abd no, there's no I, I, utility I, 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 here it doesn't be nothing right okay. <laughs> what, what does it be what, what, yeah, what, it what, you got be bite on it or something yeah probably let's see loud it's not going to be yeah. and also also it's purified loudred so i have a uh, uh yeah. we got to return now uh, yeah <laughs> Okay, let's. I mean, okay, let's put it this way. Does it, it's voice does it beat Lickitung? Maybe. If it doesn't beat Lickitung, you're in trouble. Lickitung. It beats Lickitung the ones. <laughs> For bite. Oh, beating the zeros on the ones with, with return. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. You better hope you get yeah, it. And realistically, you know what? If I'm getting a, into a return, 
Like I don't know if I don't know if Stomp improves its it's, It wins the zeros and the ones if you're running Rock Smash. <laughs> oh, really? You better pray for a Rock Smash buff next season. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I know it could be me, but it, it's not going to be me, Justin. It's not, I'm never losing again after this. Yeah, uh, Justin continues. You know, you know I, really, I got a taste yeah. of success in it, yeah. And like I said, I'm going to be back in London. I don't think there's a... I don't think anything can stop me, man. <laughs> I think I think it's looking a bit peaky. No, that that Mexican music is one and done. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, you know, unless you went honestly, we'll we'll see when Melbourne rolls around, uh, right? Uh, if you sweep Melbourne, right? You no, know, you gotta go hard Jeff style. Not a single game loss, right? If you do something like that, Mexican music, That's huh? Gonna be difficult. What? I wouldn't have my Mexican music. It's gonna be gonna be hard to <sighs> yeah, sweep it yeah. completely. Yeah. But I mean, the skills—if the skills aren't there, the skills aren't there. You know, <laughs> if you, I, I will say this meta is much harder to sweep because it's more RPS than the last one. But um, but if you do something like that, I'm gonna be then I'm gonna be feeling a little nervous for next season. We'll, uh, see. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll see. Yeah, we'll see why. If you're just it. straight up losing to uh Agent Magikarp all over again, right? You're playing the old the old <laughs> Anticore, right? <laughs> and uh, Valiant Vish, if you lose to him again, then I'm like. We, we right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. Uh, Justin also says, I really like the concept of new Dialga slash Palkia moves, but it unfortunately seems like yet another solid concept that's been muddled by Niantic's inability to factor in how people actually play the game. There's no way I'm ever going to use Dialga's ability because the cost is just way too high. I'd much rather just buy the star pieces if needed, and the only thing I can't buy, Adventure, incense, Adventure Sync Incense, just isn't worth it. Five rare slash Diago candy and five K dust for six extra Whisper and Weasel spawns, <laughs> and maybe get to see Galarian Bird run away. No, thank you. I can see a few cases where I would try Palkia's ability, particularly if I'm stationary in an area with quite a few spawn stop slash uh, stops lured up. That cost seems a bit more reasonable as well. Maybe this will be similar to the Mega System. It initially was poorly implemented. As a result, nobody used it, and then they made it more useful. And now I use it all the time. Perhaps initiating adventure effects with a free to use with a cooldown in the future. Here's hoping. Yeah, actually before yeah. Justin even mentioned the mega system part, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was hoping I was like, you know what? The mega system was pretty bad when it first started to, but they revamped it. And credit where credit's due, the mega system right now is fantastic in my opinion. Yeah. You know, yeah, if yeah. you don't have mega energy, you could just like enough to like constantly do it every day. Just use it for free. And uh and then the, you could really reap in some rewards when you have that Mega 3 Evolve, right? Takes some time if you do it for free, but you'll get there. And the bonuses are nice, and it makes the game more accessible. You can get XLs more easily if you could get XLs, obviously. It does more damage for raids, so that's also a big ups for accessibility because if you can't solo, like, if you can't do raids very easily with a small community or by yourself, Mega, Megaing something can be the difference maker, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it can help a lot in that aspect. Um but uh, yeah, it was like kind of a women from Niantic because now they had a bunch of mega Pokemon that no one rating, and now a bunch of people are mega rating, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so I remember when mega they changed the mega system, people were literally maxed out Latios and Latias energy, mega energy, and I was too dumb to realize why they're doing it because I was too lazy to read it. <laughs> it was back when uh, I think it was back when I was recording Zionic and we weren't recording for a time period, so like I just didn't read the. So you just news. didn't keep up with the news. <laughs> well, I didn't keep up with any non PvP related news, uh, and I was a big raider, so I just didn't actually yeah. understand it. Like literally, Polly like sent me a message like, "Hey, can you explain the mega system?" And I legit was like, "I don't know <laughs> what it is. <laughs> well, is it that good?" <laughs> I was just raiding like Latios because I thought Latios was good, right? Um, for just you know just to have a hundo of, but mm. I later realized how good it actually was. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I agree with you, Justin. I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. I do think, yeah, right now the system is yeah, not the best iteration, like but Palkia's um, ability is a bit better. Yeah. So Agreed. potentially see that getting some use. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about Charlotte's because so far, I don't know. If, was this larger than San Antonio? I don't think so. So it was Similar. not. It was the, so but I they, think it's the second largest. Um, definitely second largest in NA. Might be the second largest NA. Um, sure. And I was, I was saying like, it's, it's, so obviously you can like, uh, like shed some light on this because for me, it seems like it's strangely large considering the location. And then also we know that VGC it was the largest tournament ever, right? Yeah. And Charlotte's in what? Like, what's it called? North Carolina or something? Um, yeah. South Carolina. So, okay, okay. Uh, North Carolina, um, I think, yeah. 
I mean, personally, I don't really know where that is, yeah, but I can't imagine it's a... Uh... It doesn't sound like it's, it's, it's fairly centralized, actually. Is it? Um, is I would say, yeah, because it's kind of um, uh, when co- comparing like north to south, it's fairly uh-huh. like in the middle ish area of the East Coast. And the thing is, there aren't a lot of there pretty much aren't a, isn't a single northeast tournament outside of Pittsburgh this this okay. season for the United States. And that was the first one. And like some people might have not gone or whatever or championship points, is, is, et cetera, yeah. as well. Right. Um, so I think it's like fairly easier for a lot of people to get to obviously not a lot of people on the west coast went to that one but i would say there's a i think there's generally a higher concentration of players in the east coast because all the east coast tournaments tend to be a little bit bigger san antonio made sense because it's kind of centralized in the u.s in terms of like east and west but it's kind of south right so charlotte i I would say as a similar comparison is it's centralized in terms of like north and south but just on the east coast Okay. Um, so I think it made. I actually didn't expect that many people to show up too, but I think it makes. Yeah. Uh, I think it's cool to see, uh, for so sure. That might be a symptom. Yeah, 136. Uh, I think there was uh, six, uh, just like buys on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was but like always, explicitly written by. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, let me take a look at San Antonio as a comparison for our total numbers, but I do think San Antonio is probably bigger. But yeah, I didn't expect it to be because when I was looking at the bracket on day one, I was like, whoa. Yeah. I was like, this is there's there's it goes all the way to bracket H. Like, what? I'll take it. Oh uh, yeah, San Antonio 152, so even bigger yeah. for that one. But this is a good sign though that there's a kind of increase in participation, right? I mean, there was a there was a decent amount of players in Portland too. And West Coast tournaments outside like Southern California are typically kind of small. Um, it was mm-hmm. bigger this year in Portland than last year, I think, which is a good sign in my opinion, because I feel like that's indicative of um more people getting playing competitively yeah and maybe i think um, it's something we might have mentioned last week but um yeah. possibly with locals and people actually earning championship points beforehand yeah um you know is probably getting uh, uh getting certain people a bit more motivated to actually you know jump on the scene where they're like well yeah they've gotten a taste of it for free in their local area and maybe they've done quite well and then they're mm-hmm. thinking, well, you know what? I actually have a realistic shot. So yeah. Uh, so uh, comparison from Portland to this year. Uh, mm-hmm. So this year compared to last year, ninety two this year, seventy four last year. Actually, let me look at Charlotte last year too. Actually, that's that's a good. Yeah, because I imagine so Charlotte, Charlotte last year wouldn't have broken a hundred. It was it was it because I commented that one, so I, I know yeah. it wasn't um it wasn't as big for sure. Uh, so Charlotte last year, what did I say this year? One thirty six, whatever. One thirty. One thirty. There was the 136 on the bracket, but six players were. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Players. I mean, yeah, I'm not counting the buys just because. I mean, I'm still counting. No, no, as in like players. they were written by. They it was just oh. to like make the bracket neat. Yeah, yeah. They weren't actually sign ups. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it was 106 last year, so a decent amount last okay. year too. Okay, decent. So, amount. so yeah, so I think Charlotte just in general is a, a little bit easier for a lot of people to get to. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, okay, look, big congrats to Lyle Jeffs, By the way, he made that. He made that finals, Wild. winners finals in, what I say? <laughs> no, no, you said it right. No, I just found oh, it so oh. funny because like so many people call him Lyles. <laughs> no, no, yeah, Lyles Jeffs. Oh, but I think his, is his last name actually Lyles? No, no, no. I think it's Lyle Jeffs. I know, no, no. I know his oh, real name. His name. Oh, what? Is his, is his name actually Lyles? His username is like literally like Lyle Jess the Third or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but what, um, is, his, is his name Lyle's? Because I thought that was just a joke. Let me let me check actually, because I think you can actually find this info on. Yeah, I'm checking. Now. Oh no, you know what his real yeah, name yeah. is? Oh. It's Kyle Jeffs. Wait, it's not even according, Lyle. According to Liquipedia. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the Lyle comes from. I mean, why, why are you surprised? Battle Bill's name's not even Bill. It's like Alex yeah. or something. Wait, is it not? Bro, <laughs> no, it's not. That? I saw because he posted a screen. He posted a screenshot of his like local tournament result, and I was like looking. I was like, where the heck is Battle Bill? I don't even know like who you are on this <laughs> list. Right? And there's like five people on the list. <laughs> Bro, um, you know what I found out as well? What's his name? Um, Jess, that yeah. boy Jay. Yeah. Is that, is that Jay? Even have a single J in his name. <laughs> like, it's well, to be fair, his name is that boy J as in J-Y, not J like the letter. Yeah, yeah, um, I know, I know, yeah. But I'm like, where does that come from, yeah? Surely there's like the letter J somewhere in the name. You're going to have, like, oh, you know you're gonna have to just shorten it to J, a, yeah. You're going to have to ask, understand. yeah. Uh, um, okay, so um, I'm looking at the roster now. Yeah. Lyle, yeah, his name is Kyle Jeffs. That's interesting. yeah, Kyle Jeffs. 
So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I guess, uh, I guess Jeff's is appropriate. So Lyle's makes no sense, right? Yeah, Jeff's, Lyle's the, is, yeah, is the plural laughing. in the Jeff's actually, yeah. Because yeah. that's actually his name, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, because, yeah, his username is Lyle Jeff's the third. Do you think his actual he's actual a Kyle Jeff's the third? Do you think he's just Kyle? Third, Jeff? He's just he's just. You know, it would be funny no. if it's like grandfather's name was Lyle Jeffs and his father's name was Lyle Jeffs Jr. and his name's actually oh, not Lyle Jeffs, so he's not third. But 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 if he wants to be Lyle Jeffs, he'd be Lyle Jeffs the third. <laughs> I'd be nuts. Um. Anyway, fantastic run from him. Um. Mm-hmm. He's only played in three tournaments this year. Uh, second yeah. place in Pittsburgh. Uh, not so great in Toronto, but I mean that's fine. That happens to everyone. And then first place in Charlotte. And I gotta say, anyway, so fantastic run by him. He ran the same exact team that Abinov ran. Yeah. Uh, and arguably speaking, I think he says it's his team because he actually had it before Abinov ran it. I don't know. Either way, whoever made up the team, uh, I hate this point in the meta. This is the point of meta. Where the team arises and everyone just uses it. There's just a meta team, right? Yeah. This is like the this is like the J Chan Elite situation, right? Like back to back tournaments or like almost back to back tournaments. Yeah, no, back to back tournaments. This happened literally in Sacramento and uh, Toronto. Back to back tournaments. They had you know the same exact team to win it all, and now we have it in Port Portland and uh, Charlotte. But you know what? I would say that it's actually, I think it's a, a good point, right? And the reason being is because now it's like you kind of have a framework of what you're most likely going to face. And then so yeah. as a result, it's easier to find certain core breakers. Um, you know, the next... Well, what's a um, core breaker for that team? Oh, I, I, I don't really want to discuss that. <laughs> Oh, you got some secret strats, huh? I don't know. I will say, I think Bastion is actually quite the core breaker for that team. Bastion is pretty good into that team, yeah. (laughs) I mean, yeah, it did 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 some work. Goes to Beach ran the same team, Um, right? So I went 2 0 against him. I went 3 1 against Abinov in that first set. It should, I honestly shouldn't even been, I shouldn't even lost that one. I just misplayed it. (laughs) That first one. And then I got 3 0. But, but still, I think like he had to play pretty, he had to predict perfectly, I think. I think Mm -hmm. I generally actually had more of a team comp advantage going into it. Yeah. But no one runs. No one actually runs my team. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> whatever I say, however much I hype it, however well I do with it, like, even if I win a tournament, no one's gonna run my team. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 they just dismiss the Caleb team. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, generally, like, if you even if you take so if you take a look at that team, um, so and for anyone, I think the aware, team choice was actually genius Godbug. by Lyle Jeffs. Sorry well, to interrupt. This you. event specifically, yeah, because a Nibley, you know, Nylape fell short. And yeah. Polyrath uses dropped significantly. And two of your best Pokemon on that team, in my opinion, are Whiskash and Vigoroth. And yeah. now you just eliminated two of their best counters. That's true. That's true. I think... Which is I why... Think Vigoroth, I mean, I think Lao just played amazing, but also, like, yeah. I think he had way less resistance with his team this this week than Abinov did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd agree. Because um, the thing is, is Vigoroth, again, it's like... Um, if you just take out the annihilate matchup um you know coming up to this event and before the release of annihilate vigoroth would just be free into so many teams you know like you could bring it regardless the thing is even if your even if your opponent has a polyrath and they want to bring in the polyrath if yeah. you've got energy on the vigoroth then you're going to start threatening it do you know what i mean so mm-hmm. vigoroth essentially felt like a free oh it thing. was not comfortable at all i i had yeah. polyrath into vigoroth multiple times and in, in yeah. this meta and, and it it's just not puts on fun. a lot of pressure yeah. Um, so, you know, Vigoroth definitely was like performing really well up until this point. And then obviously you have to decide on, you know, what kind of like how many people are going to have Annihilate. But then also, if you look at that team as well, it's like, how willing are you to bring Annihilate into that team? You really only have, I mean, you, you have a lot of neutral matchups, admittedly, but you you may have just better picks, you know. Well, let me take a look. They're real not quick. exactly winning matchups. Do you know what I mean? Like you can you can win them, but yeah, you know you're not winning against an Azumarill. The Charger ba- Bug matchup is honestly, and Nightlight does feel pretty safe though into the team as well. You you could bring it, you could bring it, but it's like, are you incentivized to bring it versus other potential Pokemon that you might have in your own team? 
I'd say probably not. Well, I guess it depends. Well, obviously, on it depends on what the team, team looks like. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, just looking at the the people that made the winners bracket, man, you don't uh-huh. gotta stop with this upper bracket, lower bracket, have the strickle bit stuff. Oh, cause... bro, no, no, I changed it. I changed it already. <laughs> it's because it, it was like that already. It says it right now. I'm looking at the trial one. No, no, because you're looking at day one. What do you mean? There, you don't have a trial for day one. You mean day two? No, no, sorry. I'm you're, looking you're at looking the top at the day two before day. before they put in all the names. But uh, no, 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 no. What do you mean the names? I, oh, into the bracket. Yeah, but yeah, why? Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah. why does it say upper bracket and lower bracket? Oh, because I, I don't know. It said that, and I didn't know in it. So then I like published the thing, and then someone uh, pointed it out, and I was like, okay, I'll change it for the next one. So now yeah, the template. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Next, you just got to change that Twitter bird into an X and. I might we just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, maybe you got the point there. Um, Why? Anyway, um, even even on the official Pokemon streams, it says X. It doesn't say the Twitter bird. Um, yeah, but anyway, but in so the official Pokemon streams, we've also got uh, interviews with High with Arge, So, oh, I need to see that. I didn't. I missed that. Interview. Did you not see it? I saw. Oh, it I saw an image of it. Yeah, he was like doing yeah, the little yeah. like. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what was going on because Wadaji and Onifrak didn't even make day two and they were interviewed on yeah, day two, yeah. right? They just decided was... to to interview them while while Hot Pocket uh, was on stage. <laughs> gotcha. It was, gotcha. It was oh, well, that makes more sense if it was Baki on stage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so so looking at the top eight, or the people that were in the winner's bracket going to day two, the only person that had an eye lip was uh, Tommy W. And mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm just looking at what else Tommy W would bring to the team. I mean... Yeah, um, uh, I think I Lantern think like, is pretty safe into that team. Um, uh, Wish Cashes, yeah, Wish Cashes for Lantern, I guess. But um, he was running Spark, too, bring, right? I guess you could bring Skarmory into it. Um, yeah, Skarmory's really safe. Skarmory into it. Yeah. Skarmory's actually super safe outside Charger Book. Yeah, has yeah. a lot of play or hard winning matchups. Um, Manda wasn't too comfortable. Lickitung, you uh, then again. Yeah, I think Lickitung you probably would bring because you wouldn't really expect them to bring the uh, the big rock. And the big rock, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a not comfortable matchup for sure. They didn't play each other, did they? Uh, I don't believe so. No. Uh, let's see, Ted. Uh, no, they did. They played each other right off they? the bat, actually. But Lao just beat him. He went two oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So, uh, yeah. anyway, so pretty anyway, solid run. Um, but again. Annihilate kind of fell short. Out of the top 16, there were two Annihilate. Yeah. But there was like about 30 or 33% in usage on day one. Yeah, so that's going to be like, what, 40 players roughly? 33.3, uh, 3, yeah, literally a third. <laughs> yeah, so about about 40 players uh, running yeah. Annihilate. Which is, so I guess I was going to say, like, do you think it fell short because, um, because again, for, you know, anyone... Give me on one wet- second. I'm going to close my window. There's like some loud okay. sound. I don't know if you hear it, but give me one second. So for anyone unaware, um, the uh, Annihilate initially, uh, people were expecting for it to not be legal because um, when it was expected to be released, it would have been less than 24 hours before the release time. And, you know, due to the rules, it wouldn't be illegal. However, Annihilate came out a bit early. So it came out at the same time everywhere worldwide. And as a result, it was prior to the 24-hour window. And um, I, I don't know who exactly makes the rulings, but Overload Events, they uh, they clarified that it was now going to be legal. But that meant that people literally had one day to not only get an Annihilate, I mean, probably not too hard, you know, like uh, Mankeys were spawning and, uh, you know, uh, I imagine that's not too bad. But um, you have one day to decide if you're going to change your team or not. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I'm wondering if the reason for Annihilate underperforming is either a uh, lack of preparation or just not really having enough time to figure out exactly. Because you also wouldn't have had enough time to figure out how it plays, you know, like you have to, you've got what your GBL sets that day and then that's pretty much it. So possibly a lack of preparation or maybe, you know, uh, not really understanding where. It could, you know, like what, how to build around it or something like that. I don't know. I don't there's know. a, there's a third option. What do you think? It's just not good. It's just not good. It's possible. It's not good yeah, enough. It's possible. It's it's possible. Possible. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that's how I, that's what I yeah. think. I'm just saying that's a very likely third possibility. Because the yeah. thing is, fantastic coverage, right? Um, and really solid typing. Same thing with Medicham before it got nerfed, right? 
before the side got nerfed both times. But the difference is, Medjam had some crazy bulk, mm-hmm. you know, and it just won so many neutral matchups because of it. Annihilate, if you look at it, not not so much, right? Mm-hmm. You don't beat Whiskash um, if they land a Scald. And on you top of that, they get the Scald before you, you get to the Shadow that. Ball. You know how you do, what do you mean? With the break point. <laughs> Are you baiting perfectly, though? You have to land a Shadow Ball to beat Whiskash in general. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't looked to do. I know, I know, like uh, getting the breakpoint. Right, let me let me sim let me sim this, Mister Mister Breakpointer. Go, go. What's the breakpoint? What's the breakpoint? Uh, let's see. Because so, so I'll put it this way. I have um. We we'll just do okay. So if you put in like for point. example zero fifteen five, on the annihilate, um, that's the highest defense plus uh, it it gets enough attack to get the breakpoint, um. In the twos. Okay, let's sim it against a rank one wish cash. So uh, against a w- rank one wish cash, it wins the ones, but it has to land a shadow ball. Uh huh. It loses the, oh, twos. You win the twos. You win the twos. Huh? Well, they go. You wouldn't have won the twos before. They win the. Wait, 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 what? What's what's the IV spread on your breakpoint one? Uh, zero fifteen five. How's that a break point? That's oh, that's because oh, you get more defense, but you get more attack with it as well. Oh, okay, okay. So let me send it real quick. HP. So you win the twos, um, going straight ice punch, I guess. Okay. But what do you lose with that? I don't know. I don't think you lose much, to be honest. Okay. Well, that's not a very clean one. Well, what if they go scald? Why? I don't understand why the whisk cash is not going scald first. If they get one debuff, it's over, right? Uh, well, I guess we can see that as well. Um, because most wish cash are going scald here. Okay, if it's going straight scald. All right. So if it goes scald. Yeah, you still win. Do you? It's showing that it's the wish cash then... wins. The wish cash nah. wins. What with the with the? You going straight ice punch and the two shields? Yeah, and then and then it goes Shadow Ball at the end because they run out of shields. Oh, well, let me let me change it from Ice Punch to Shadow Ball then. Let me wait. If I wait, I go Shadow Ball. But the thing is, before you go Shadow Ball, they can throw another Mud Bomb or Scald. Uh, you don't you don't get to the Shadow Ball. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> what do yeah, you what are you on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it, they get okay, so so let's put it this way. They get one skull debuff and there goes your entire breakpoint annihilate. <laughs> and how easy yeah, is that? That's a straight that point, point flip. Up until that point, yeah. What do you mean up until that point? From starting point, the moment yeah, they get yeah. the skull debuff, it's over for annihilate. <laughs> but anyway, I mean that's that's one big reason why like it's not as good because it doesn't win the neutral matchup as much, right? Yeah, I feel like Annihilate seems kind of similar to Trev in terms of, you know, re- like relative bulk, relative sort of coverage, that sort of thing, um, where it will have um, maybe a certain team that it will shine in or a certain meta that it will shine in. Trev and it feels a little bit more polarizing. Uh, more polarizing for sure, but I feel like in terms of like how the actual Mon plays, do you know what I mean? Um, well, funny enough, know. I ran both in my local tournaments this weekend. <laughs> but it made sense for my team because I ran Bastiodon. So like, I like, if I'm going to have a fighter on my team or counter user, I need one that beats all the other ones. Mm-hmm. Um, true, true, but true. I only I only used it. I used it once. I used it Not once on the first tournament, and I used it like two or three times on the second one. I used it a Was decent it amount on the second one, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, mine doesn't have the break point, but I almost beat a Whiskash in the two shields. And I counter swapped the Whiskash because I led. Yeah. They, well, they went Whiskash into my Bastidon. Okay. Well, no, no, because they swapped out. Okay. They, so before I threw the Shadow Ball, I, I had to bait twice with Ice Punch. And before I got to the Shadow Ball, or no, I think I, I baited once with Ice Punch. And I went Shadow Ball second. Um, and they shield that, but I went for a third one. They went straight Scald, I think. And uh, they finally land while I was low HP. They swap in Polyrath. I land a Shadow Ball. And then I pivot over to my Trevnitz. So let's put it this way. They have a Whiskash in the lead, a Polyrath <laughs> in the back, and <laughs> I don't even know the third bad. Pokemon. They have like yeah. Lickitung, they have like Gligar, they have other stuff, right? They beat Spassia. No, no, they didn't have Gligar. They had, they had Lickitung and like okay. Mandibus or something, right? And they or were just, what, praying for no, no Trevenant. 
anywhere. Well, well, yeah. So, so if Wish in the lead, right? Into my Bastion. I come in prime, uh, annihilate. Switch timers are pretty misaligned, right? Once he comes Polyrath, like I should, in my in hindsight, I was like, maybe I should have just let my Polyrath, uh, annihilate get fainted down. But they hit me with an ice, icy wind. I'm like half health, Trevenant. I shadow call all the way down. I have a shadow ball worth of NG, and they're waiting out the switch timer. I'm like, huh? I was like, you don't have a Lincoln on the back? Because I'm stuck in this matchup, right? My, my timer just started, right? So I'm I'm done for, right? I'm thinking, with cash on Bastion, it's over. And uh, and I was already down a game, too, from the first game. Oh. And they come in Trevenant. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, this guy was... Yeah, there was no plan for a Trevenant there. <laughs> <laughs> no Trevenant lead, yeah. Yeah, with cash on lead, like, you yeah, have the no play, right? Playing. Yeah, and... Uh, and at that point, I had, I had a Shadow Ball worth of entry. So I throw a Shadow Ball at the Trevenant, throw a Sea Bomb. My Bastion wasn't even used for that game. Yeah. yeah but um, I mean, sometimes you got to go risky. Because uh, that person only had two counters to Bastion, which was the tre- uh, which was the Bastion, or which was the Polyrath and Whiskash. Bastion beat everything else. Right. So, and I brought it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think, I, I don't know. I think it, it just really depends on the team. And like, yeah, I might... Mm-hmm. I had success with it in my local tournament, but like I didn't play that many people, right? So like yeah. it's it's not really that my sample size is small, right? Um, Charlotte has I, a way I bigger sample size. Potent- I, I think it could um, potentially see more use in Liverpool. I'm going to say for two reasons: one, obviously they have more time to prepare, um, and two, you know, it's a large European tournament as well. So you know, again, a lot a lot of European team builders tend to be thinking a bit more, you know, outside the box. And then also, in addition to that as well, you know, like you said, we've kind of got a standard team um, emerging. And so it makes it a lot easier. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Let me, let me correct them. you. Europeans think outside the box. Is that what it is? Or is it that they just don't play meta so the meta teams aren't really thriving because there aren't none? Because we had, I feel like we've had this as a baby before. At least I definitely had it with Speedy, right? I don't know if I had it with you. But my theory is that it's not that Americans or or people in North America, Americans and Canadians, and you know a few people from Latin that show up to these tournaments. It's not that they're not creative. It's that the meta teams are just so good that there's not as much room for creative creativity to succeed. Uh, you I know, I got. I don't think that's the case because again, that's well, well, here's that. the thing: when the Europeans come over here, what happens? Their creative nah. teams aren't successful. Bbilicious, great example. This guy got second place at uh, um, San Antonio last year, right? Yeah. Or to Arlington last year, right? What did he run? The most basic meta line. He even said it, right? He loves playing meta. He ran straight meta and he succeeded. Yeah, but we, ha- we haven't had a very we haven't had a very large sample size of. European. I'm just saying, though, all the other Europeans that showed up in the U.S. in North America tournaments. They didn't do so hot with their creative teams. I know Inadequance ran a shout Charizard for Hartford, but that's not that yeah. spicy in my opinion. No, that's that a shout Charizard. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't remember if you ran Dunsparce or not. But I can check real quick. I think uh I don't know. I, I still think it's the case because you know, I, I can't say why um, you know I no no, I, I don't I don't disagree with you. European teams one hundred percent are more creative. But yeah. I think it's partially because Europeans have too much pride or, you know, creativity or whatever to run meta teams. And I respect that. I have no, I have like no disrespect. Right. I, I prefer that. Right. I wish everyone uh-huh. thought like that. Right. We're as bold as Europeans in some of these, and, and like Japanese players that are running these wild teams. But when, when it shakes down though, it's the meta teams that succeed, you know, look at, look imagine. at world's last. We'll, we'll have to see, we'll have to see this year's world. You know, Cause I won't agree with that, that comment, but. What is um, Staffel run at worlds? I need to see this. <laughs> I just another Staffel. <laughs> What did he what run? What is Scaffold uh, run at Worlds? Was it was it was it something? Oh my I gosh, Scaffold, your best European. Yeah. This is what Scaffold ran at Worlds. Altaria, Lantern, Metacham, Noctowl, Shadow Alone, Sandslash, and Glaren Stumpfisk. <laughs> What's the spice on that team? Glaren Stumpfisk? Stumpfisk. This is your <laughs> European champion, right? For you all. Champion yeah, the way you know, for European. And yeah, this is the most successful world, team for like, Europeans at Worlds last year. <laughs> what does that say, Edicor? <laughs> <laughs> let's just wait for this year yeah let's just wait for this year and then we'll, reassess, <laughs> I mean, you know? we'll, we'll wait for an this every year. Year. all right let me check in wait let me check in adequance from because he, he did quite well he got what fourth place at hartford last year yeah i, I think mean, he was running shadow the, charizard, charizard lantern shadow lone nine tails obscure registeel trevenant that, that's all meta shadow charizard is the most know. the least 
the least Obstagoon meta. Obstagoon was a meta at the time. Obstagoon was meta because Wadaj won the whole tournament with Obstagoon. Yeah. yeah. Obstagoon yeah. over yeah. Medicham was pretty common back then. Yeah. It was the it was the next meta where Medicham was just straight dominant. Yeah. Obstagoon was we'll pretty see, We'll see UIC in it, you know. Um I'm not gonna I lie, mean, I did think uh the Shadow Zapdos was Oh yeah, Evan runs the weirdest stuff, but he makes yeah. it work. <laughs> I, I kind of but the show up to, so I'm not gonna if lie. he doesn't get past fourth place, does he really make it work? <laughs> no. But I feel like the Shadow Zapdos like, could have done better in like a different scenario. But um, I, I did so think I guess it was the thing like is like, a, like there's always one-off teams that do decently well. Yeah, but it still it still doesn't rise to the top as much as med teams. You can say my Bastion team did decently well. It didn't win, and yeah. if you look at the rest of the teams around me. They're all meta, right? Ramberto, Onion Frank. Uh, I guess Bopper's team was maybe, but Bopper didn't make it as far. Um, Kobe Kuplin's team was fairly meta, although he had the mana buzz. But that was about it. That was the spice. Like, and, and, and to be fair, my Bastion team, outside the Bastion, the rest was meta. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you know? Yeah, and a one spice pick. Like, I wasn't running some weird stuff. Anyway, look, I mean, if, like, Props to Status Sam running Mew every tournament, right? And 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 people running different stuff in Europe. I'm just we'll see. We'll see what happens at UIC, yeah. right? Especially if uh, enough NA people go. I think um, yeah, definitely this weekend Liverpool is gonna be super interesting in terms of just seeing um uh, what kind of meta developments they make. Cause again, it's like um big EU tournament and then there's only three events left for yeah. this uh, this part of the season so yeah um, and, and let me clarify right for anyone listening i'm not hating on european style here this is why i gave kind of like a sigh right and, and this is not no hate on loud jeff's either he played great but when i saw it was the same meta team that won the tournament right before this one <laughs> that's so disheartening to me right especially with the introduction of annihilate i thought annihilate was going to eliminate vigoroth right and then <laughs> vigoroth looking Looking still like the king <laughs> of the meta, right? Like still looking so safe. That's Imagine kind of Vigorod being safe in a meta where the the best fighter in it completely walls it off. It doesn't have to spend a single charge attack and wins it every shielding situation, right? So that's why I decide because I'm like, I wish it was different, right? I wish these North Americans were more creative and didn't play meta, but I can't blame them. Why would I? I can't hate on Lao just for running a team that is that strong. He didn't lose a single game in winners finals and grand finals. He's six zero, right? Like, well, I can't hate on that. Why would why would someone not play that team if it's that good? That's more so my frustration with the meta than anything else. I think we'll see interesting stuff at Liverpool, but again, I don't credit that to the meta. I credit that to Europeans being more creative and putting do you on think a better that, show. But do you think what they might come up with in Liverpool will then follow on in Knoxville, or do you think in Knoxville they're just no. going to go? Do you think they're just going to go back? So. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, Knoxville or um. I don't. Uh, Vancouver's probably next season, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just not. I don't think so. Anyone? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it was like um, it was like Human Catcher Bug, right? When he used Shadow Charizard, no one really used Shadow Charizard. It took a while. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it took. Actually, a, but honestly, it wasn't I, even took a while. It took a new meta. <laughs> yeah, By the time true. it succeeded at NAIC, it was a completely different yeah. meta. So that's why it was more successful. And NA, it still didn't have. It finally had success, but I wouldn't credit to NA players finally breaking through and know how you Shadow Charizard. It's just that Shadow Charizard actually became relevant in that meta. For it to be right, a thing. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, hey, look, I think it makes for great content and uh, very interesting tournaments to watch, right? I just, uh, I just don't know how they hold up to the meta teams. I'm sure there's right. going to be some. I, I think here's the difference. Hmm. I think some of the best players in North America, they play meta teams. I think on the flip end, some of the best players in Europe, they don't play meta teams. So yeah, you'll I see think. people running the meta teams in Europe. But if their skill level is just not as up to par as the top two players, they that's still really can't beat. They, they, yeah. they still need to have the skill on top of it, right? And so I think that's the difference is the very skilled players are playing not meta teams. And then the, the, the really skilled players in North... Because, yeah, they're just playing meta teams. So that's just like a win-win for them, right? They're already the best players in the tournament and then they're running the best team, in my mind, right? That's over. Yeah, true, true. You know? Looks like Scaffold took a note out of the, Euro the North America <laughs> cohort when he went to Worlds. He said, I ain't running no European strat now. I'm going straight meta like uh, these North Americans. It, and it, it paid it. off. It paid off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Look at El, El, look at El Shea. 
<laughs> LJ played a meta team and he didn't have a six Pokemon. He did better than everyone else running Spice. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, I mean, do? I think uh, yeah, yeah, there's still a lot of uh, a lot of space to um, what's the word? Uh, innovate because um, again, like looking at I that s- particular meta team, I still it's can't like... his name's Kyle. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a. Uh... I mean, again, Henry's not even Henry, which is yeah. Battle Bill's not even Battle yeah. Bill. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. But um, yeah, so it's it's the. If you look at the um, the usage uh, overall, um, you've mm-hmm. got um, Gligar, Azumarill, Lickitung, Charge Bug, and uh, Whiskash all at 45% plus. So pretty much half teams had those five Pokemon. And I think those five Pokemon are pretty much the... I'd say that's the meta core. Obviously, Vigoroth is like a part of the meta team, but I think I've seen a lot of teams where it's literally those five, and then they've just chucked a different one in in the fifth mm-hmm. slot. Um, so, you know, those five seem to be establishing themselves as like, you know, the team. But again, I think I think because that's the case, there's there's space to. Um, you know, to bring out certain Pokemon that, you know, do particularly well into those five. So. Yeah, do we have a picture of day two usage by chance? Uh, I've got one I have a picture of day one usage. Day one usage at the top was Gligar 55.8. Azuma 53.5 makes a lot of sense because Cresselia is not as strong into Nihilus as Azuma is. Yeah. Uh, so I think that only makes Azuma even safer. Um. And then you got Lickitung at number three, over 50% of teams. I mean, Lickitung, Lickitung and Gligar are just so safe in this meta. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's not much at Hardwall, especially in show six, right? In GBO, mm-hmm. sure. You say small Gligar, you see a Skarmory, like, you know, you're going to see a Skarmory coming, and less than a third of the team had Skarmory, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's just not a lot of Hardwalls. I mean, if you look at the top 12 for Gligar, there's two things that Hardwall it, which is the Azumarill and the Skarmory. Actually, I, I was yeah, just Skarmory. Even the Azumarill is not even that close. It's a it's, it's, yeah, it's a winnable so, matchup. Yeah. yeah. And, and, the, the, and the rest, yeah, and neutral to Ligaton, hard beats to Gligard. Whiskash is kind of funky if you don't land a Scald. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that match yeah, is nice, yeah. though. It's not so bad. Prime AP you win. Regiseal, you win. Cresselia is neutral. Lantern, you win unless it's Water Gun, which most aren't. Mm. And Mandibuzz isn't lose. even awful. awful. Like, obviously, you lose it, but like you can yeah. win certain. I ran Mandibuzz myself, uh, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Actually, um, mm. it breaks up it breaks up the uh, Lickitung Gligar core quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes at Liverpool. Best of luck to everyone uh, participating this upcoming weekend. That'll be. Yeah, I think the last thing to say is also Skeledurge is probably. I mean, if you look at the, so I sent you the the day two usage, and I think it was like I don't know, two or three teams or something like that. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think Skeledurge is obviously you know it won with Doombug, um, but I still that's think really that's safe. probably the most underexplored of like super viable Pokemon because it doesn't uh... really have any hard walls either. Do you know what I mean? I like... think I think Skeledurge's time to shine was Stuttgart and San Antonio. I think it's kind of past for Skeldurge right now. I say for this because, because Polyrath was way higher usage in San Antonio uh-huh. and Stuttgart. It's right now Whiskash has completely overtaken that like water yeah, that counter yeah. steel slot. Well, like I it's at fifty six point three percent for day two. Yeah, that means that Skeldurge just hard loses against at least half of the teams. You know. And yeah, and but I, you know, and, and, okay, look, 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 I mean, I'll put it this way look at the top four Pokemon. You got Lickitung, loses to Azumarill, you lose to Whiskash, you hard lose to. Those are the top three highest usage Pokemon for day number two. And on top of that, you have Gligar, which they could just one shot you with a dick. <laughs> so, actually, Gligar usage is actually pretty high. It's, it's kind of misleading on this graphic because they separate Shadow and Non Shadow. So, Gligar yeah, is actually yeah. higher than. Uh, oh, did they actually? Oh, okay, yeah, know. if you look at it, number four and number 12 usage is both Gligar. Oh, right, right. Inside. The day yeah. two one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'd say, though, the thing is, is with Skeletor, just like it's. First of all, obviously, it's like, uh, you know, the moveset kind of covers quite a lot of things. And something like having one extra incinerate can you know change a matchup completely or like investing shields and certain things like that so it's like you oh you generally always have win conditions against most of these pokemon 
And uh, um, a lot of the people who are using it over the weekend as well kind of prove that as well, where it's like, you know, using your Skeledurge to take out an Azu because, yeah, Azu's a water type, but the charge moves aren't doing any damage. Same with Lickitung as well. It's like, yeah, you're you're taking super effective Lick damage, but, yeah, it does again, Lick, but you know, it doesn't have uh, charge move pressure. And obviously, Whiskash is probably the worst out of the bunch, um, but you can hit it back. Do you know what I mean? So a bit like Charger Bug and Wish Cash, obviously not, you know, quite uh, that sort of like degree, but uh, you can hit it back. Do you know what I mean? Isn't it? So, you know, having a Pokemon like that where it doesn't seem like it has any strictly hard walls, um, I think in the right hands has, has a, you know, can um, be really good. Okay. Yeah. Well, two things. Uh, first, I want to look at is who was the most successful um, player at Charlotte well, with, with Skeldurge? Um, with Skeldurge? Uh, Teddy, GM10. Teddy, so okay. Third. third place. Yeah. And then, yeah, but his whole team, his Skeldurge looked real good in Kayshawn. Kayshawn 3 0 him. Uh, yeah. I remember that specifically because Kayshawn even said in an interview that he was worried about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Skeldurge looks really good there, yeah. Yeah, but he got 3 0 somehow. So I, I think it's just like against good players, it is hard to play five turn uh, fast attacks. Yeah, All right. But point I think number he, two. Yeah. Hmm. You made the graphic with the names populating the bracket. Was hmm. that you? I, wait, I didn't do the names. What I, did, the names? I, I didn't put the names into the bracket. That okay. was me. Why is that what, a what did you do? What did you do then? Share on Twitter? Uh, what, no, no. I, I did like, I did the day two graphic without the names in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Where it says upper and lower bracket. Yeah. But I didn't realize that was there because it's okay. like a, already the template was there. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Ba okay. Basically someone did it first. Yeah. Uh -huh. There was some mistakes. So then I jumped on it and like corrected it. And okay. then I published that. And then for day two, uh, we assumed it was just a case of like putting the names in. So why? Well, what's the mistake? It's not a mistake. It's just aesthetically uh, and like informational wise, it's hard. It's like not very functional, in my opinion. Cool. If you look at day two where the bracket is completely filled out on Draco versus yeah. Twitter, you'll see that it's it still shows the winner's bracket and loser's bracket in the same exact order. I would rather see instead of Evan, Kayshawn, Battle Bill out of pocket in, on the left-hand side, I would rather see first through 16 in that order. Yeah. Did you know what, though? Was that done for Portland? I feel like it was, right? No? Let me take a look at Portland. Because I feel like, wasn't that the case? I think maybe for Portland, it was just coincidence that maybe they were still there. No, it's but not. Also, also, no, 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 no. If you look at the Portland one, it's actually done properly. It's, well, this is why I know you didn't do this one. Because uh, <laughs> yeah. you don't even know. If you, if I'm you look not going to lie. I don't usually has, do the It US looks one. so much better here, right? Because it shows yeah. one, two, three, four. And this shows Top Cup, five yeah. through eight. And this shows do you know why, though? nine through 12. Do you know why? Blah, blah, blah. Because... Yeah, well, this weekend, we had Polymers up as the catch man and the one hit KO man. SME, right? Subject um, matter. Yeah, SME. so you know he's the one who usually does those. I'm not gonna. Lie, I don't usually do NA bra uh, like graphics and stuff because it's usually uh, like nighttime for me when it all happens, and I don't like yeah. to spoil it as well. So I don't. I don't usually jump on those. But no, yeah, I it's because he wasn't there. That's the reason, to be honest. Okay. Well. 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 Just. A feedback I like to provide yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. in bad, the future, bad. if he's ever SME, the catch man again, the one hit KO guy, Bruv, it's then it's uh, so I don't really care. I'm not, I'll, I'll be very honest here. Yeah. Huh? He huh? didn't do anything weird, right? Like all the catches look good. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You I just, don't just don't like the catch the animation. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Do you know what I did have a problem with? Uh, there. So, okay, look, here's the thing. Yeah. You know, you know when you start, like, you start putting up with things that you shouldn't put up with yeah and when you start doing that yeah people start getting comfortable yeah and they feel like they can walk all over you right what okay. what happened here this what happened this season we put up with catch we put up with one hit ko yeah all of a sudden they're like you know what let's just throw them some other graphics yeah let's give them a little bell yeah, with a round <laughs> starting sort of thing. Yeah, bro, I can see the round starting. <laughs> I don't need that. Do you know I what saw I mean? like I, I didn't catch what it was. Guy, I was like, like, I, like it had. A, I had my other mantra. I was doing something uh, else. I saw in the corner of my eye there was like a siren thing. What was that? Yeah. Like a game three alert or something? Uh, what was that? Man, like, we don't need these things, man. Look, look. Honestly, here's the thing. Yeah, uh, and yeah. I actually watched a bit of the VGC stream. Yeah, and 
I don't know if maybe the idea came from the VGC stream because on the VGC stream, it doesn't look that bad, mainly because everything's relatively static. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's when let's say a one hit KO happens, yeah, you know, the attack happens, the HP bar goes down, and then you put up the one hit KO animation. Nothing was happening in that, you know, when the hate one hit KO That's animation like anything. Up. I mean, yeah, like you're not blocking anything, nothing's going on, you can freely throw that up. And if anything, it might, you know, add a bit of flair to the times where you're just, you know, nothing's going on. Yeah, but in Pokemon Go, man, allow it, man. Like, There's (sighs) enough going on on the screen, yeah, for for us throwing all these random animations and little bells and, you know, (laughs) You know, you know what it felt like, yeah. You know, you know when Twitch streamers they have all their like emotes and stuff. Yeah. And then they Things start are just like, exploding on the screen. Like, yeah, it felt like that. I was like, come on, man. I could yeah. see that. Happening. Okay, obviously I can't see that happening in the future, yeah. But honestly, ten years down the line, yeah. Gonna see <laughs> Thank you for the bits, you know, like little, <laughs> <laughs> little banners coming on the top. Like, come on. <laughs> I would. I don't think they'll yeah. go that far. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's the best way they could even provide that feedback. Like, I don't even know where they would do that. I don't know. Um, because I, because the thing is, okay, you might not be a fan. I don't, I, I haven't seen it enough for me. Per- I think the next time I commentate, when I see all, because you see everything on the screen, then I'll definitely yeah, see it. Yeah. Um, I'll probably have even stronger feelings either for or against it. Yeah. But I don't know where they, I don't know where TPCI will gather the feedback on if this is what viewers want or not. Yeah, because you could be just like a vocal person that dissents on it and doesn't like it, but maybe the majority of people like it or don't care, right? Or maybe there's a majority of people that don't like it, but they're just too tired or don't know where to voice it. Well, Um, yeah, I think most people would. I I feel like there's personally, I feel like there would definitely be a lot of people who don't like it. Yeah, but again, that's just an opinion sort of thing. But I also feel like people who don't like it would just be like, oh well, it is what it is, and you know. The only reason yeah. I'm voicing that I don't like it is because I personally think that if I voice it enough that someone might be like, okay, you know what? Maybe we should assess this, you know? But, there's a, I will say that I, yeah. I, I am aware that there's a few people from TPCI that does listen to this podcast too. So Okay. So they listen. already know what time it is. Yeah, like, well, they already know what you think, but you're one yeah, person yeah. out of a couple <laughs> billion, right? They know so, what time it so, is. So you know <laughs> what they're thinking? Either they, one, they don't have the power to change it, or two... <laughs> (laughs) They're like, I don't care what this Anacor's yammering about every single week. We don't care. We're still going to keep it. In fact, despite him, we're going to throw an additional bell next week, right? (laughs) Despite him, yeah. Yeah. We're going to throw up the catch animation when there wasn't even a catch. (laughs) Wait till till what happens at Liverpool, right? They're going to make a phone call to SME. They're going to be like, hey, I need me to do a favor, right? You better show. (laughs) You better put another animation there. (laughs) I think it's already a meme with certain people in in Europe already. So, um, yeah. you know, and I imagine it's a meme not for, not for good reasons. So, um, I mean, you know, some people like it, some people don't like it. That's kind of how things are. At the very way. least, I'll say that at least Polly was doing the catch button when there were catches. So, I read that. I read that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, he was there. So as a result, yeah, graphics weren't well. Next time, next time you put uh, you put to work there on the graphics duty. Yeah. Do, do you know what? You know, I'll be very you know honest. How... Right? Is that like actually? I do appreciate week... you got way of upper lower bracket thing though. I do appreciate that. Yeah, but yeah, but he it. never has even he never even has upper or lower bracket in the final graphic because he just shows the top board and then the top cut. Yeah, based on placement. I I didn't know the workflow in it, so I was just like whatever. Uh, yeah. And also, I didn't even put in the things for the second one. Anyway, but yeah. like, I'll, I'll be very honest though. Yeah, generally, um, I. I'm super like biased when it comes to EU events. I guess biased is maybe the word. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like, like most EU people in general. Yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Like, this weekend is Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm gonna go all out. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing Twitch clips. I'm gonna be doing flipping. Oh, and Draco versus Twitter. Do, I'm gonna be doing everything or everything I can do. Because the thing is, I feel like uh, if I what if time I, does it start for you, like time wise? I think it's super late. You know, I think it might be eight o'clock. Because this evening. starts. So I'm gonna be have to I'm gonna have to be up all night. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Maybe working. Which like, I don't want to do. Burn the midnight oil. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, this starts at like around midnight for me, midnight or one a.m. So like, if it's really tough for me to catch it live, I've tried it and I just mess up my sleep schedule for like the next yeah. like five days. Oh, do you know what? Maybe oh, the thing is, I kind of have to though. But then at the same time, it's like Watch it live. Melbourne is the next weekend. 
Well, I mean, you have time to adjust for your sleep schedule. Yeah, right? but it's not a lot of time. Do you know what I mean? But whatever, whatever <laughs> I'm gonna do anyway. So. Yeah, you committed. Um, yeah, yeah you, you, you're really singing that uh, that UK European pride, man. Next thing you know, I'm going to see you wearing like one of those uh, that UK Ty Adelion hat at a previous no, comp. No, that's going to be too that's, far, that's how much good. pride it's, it's, it's exuding from you let's, right now. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> hey, let's at EUIC, are you gonna are you gonna bring a flag? You gonna bring a flag? You know how like a lot of the Europeans. Do you know what? Flags? I'll be very honest though. Like I like I don't really like. I would uh, never bring a US okay, flag. When it comes to Pokemon, personally. yeah. Okay, I back the whole UK thing, yeah. But when it comes to general things, I don't really relate to the UK as much. Yeah, but but it's it's a Pokemon event, though. No, I'm not judging people that yeah. bring the flag. I personally just don't have enough pride in the United States to bring a flag for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I think it's really cool that through. I think it's really cool that a lot of countries bring their flag because it looks like a sporting event when you look at the spectators, which is really cool. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's true. I don't think we're gonna have a flag, I'm not gonna lie. What do you mean we? You know why the other thing is as well is I the, think what do you mean generally we like oh, everyone UK, from UK? Yeah, I think in I think in the UK also like the Union Jack. Not okay. saying I believe this, yeah, but I think generally like flying the Union Jack is more synonymous with people who are like a bit sort of like right wing thinking. Yeah, um, which you know is kind of how it is in the, US, in the United States like, too. No, 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 no. no, no but the like thing that. is, is that like in the US, it's like a lot of people have a strong sense of identity with being American. Even if they're like not born there or anything. The like the, the flag yeah. thing is definitely a more right wing thing, though. Yeah. Like some people, like uh, like I, I I can't speak for everyone, right? But some people in the United States, they think like you should go to jail if you burn the U.S. flag. And it's typically the people on the left that don't care for that at all, yeah, and they might yeah. be the ones burning flags. I'm not I'm not like advocating for one side or the other, but I'm just saying that's kind of how. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I think I, I think mean... the Europe like UK politics like. Like a lot of how they approach it is actually pretty similar to the United States. Actually. Probably, yeah, probably, yeah. yeah, it's pretty extreme. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't think we'll have a UK flag. That said, that said, hopefully, um, stream eligible Team Pizza jerseys by that time. Yeah, you all gonna redesign um, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so it's stream eligible. Because you know what? Oh, this yeah. weekend, I think. Okay, I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think we have. Let me let me just double check. I think we have twenty six people um, attending Liverpool from. If if from okay, let's put it this way: this if at, if like one fourth of Top Cut is in TM Pizza, you failed. <laughs> you all failed. Uh, I mean, fourth. hey, That's last generous, time right? last time it was half, so it was half in Top Cut in Stuttgart. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, not in Liverpool. And See, cool cats. We don't have a lot of people, but I feel like we uh we do pretty good. Every time me and Bertrand are both in the tournament, yeah, but that's, we do that's good. the same tournament every season. What do you mean the same tournament? <laughs> what do you mean? It's What's like the same the tournament? Same. Okay, well, it's not the same tournament. It's the same like West Coast tournament. Yeah. What do you mean? We had the we had the world's <laughs> finalists at that tournament. What do you mean? <laughs> no, he beat the world champ, and I beat the world's runner up. What more do you want from us? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah you do well you do well <laughs> yeah yeah and the only way we got knocked out is when we faced each other what else can i say okay i was pretty confident i was going to lose the accent if i faced them so i was pretty glad i got onion instead of action <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, paid actor <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> plot armor man plot armor uh all right. Well, we talked a lot about this, so we will get into the the event stuff. But I will say before we get into that, I double checked mm-hmm. Battle Bill's name, right? Who also made Top Gun, yeah, winner's side, his, top twelve, name? pretty Alexander Montovo. Bruv, there's not even. You know what the thing is? Bill is usually short for William. Yeah, there's not even a William. <laughs> there's no yeah, William. There's not even he's not anything remotely. Yeah, he's not Dick or anything either, right? Because sometimes Bill Dick's short nah. for Bill or whatever. No, nah, Dick's shorts for Richard. So that's. Well, oh, like, oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we could. Uh, you don't. Why do you have to correct me, right? I was on a roll here, right? I'm, I'm on the same page as you, right? His name is nothing remotely <laughs> similar, right? Right. Uh, English yeah, is not my first language. What you want me to do? <laughs> Wait, what? Is it not? No, I was born in China. I came to US once too, though. So I'm pretty sure that makes English your first language. Because did you learn no, Chinese? No, English is not before? my first language. What do you mean? I was speaking Chinese when I came here. Oh, okay. Fluent. Yeah. 
At two years I old. Mean, as a, as as fluent as a two year old can speak, what you mean? Okay, I don't know the exact like requirements of something being a first language, whether it's like the first language you ever learn, or if it's your what? most natural language, right? What? But... No, no. Most natural language has nothing to do with first language. You could be speaking like <laughs> you could be speaking French for ten years straight, and then all of a sudden you start going to English school, and all of a, now your best language is English. You would never say English is your first language because it's your most natural well, language. Years is a long time. Two years. I don't know, man. That, like, no, 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 no. First you language. You could be saying like, all the Chinese words it's... wrong as well. You know. No, no, no. The the first language literally <laughs> implies the first language. There's no like, okay, yeah, why is see. there a qualifier? No one's like, oh, I got first place in tournament, but I didn't win it all. <laughs> like what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> then anyway. I'd be a champion of so many tournaments at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Probably would have been me. Well. All right. Anyway, all right. Uh, let's get into the events for this week. Let's just breeze through this. So we have the shadow event coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big so thing because be... that's like literally around the corner, right? Like this week yeah it's kind of interesting because we had a bunch of shadow stops and stuff this this event for the yeah. fighting week but it's actually not I'm not gonna lie event. i think uh i, I don't Which know I'm okay with okay maybe it's just i didn't grind out enough shadows but it feels a bit too soon <laughs> i kind of would have liked the why, why, to do but it doesn't matter. what do you mean too like? soon like if there's more rockets if you don't do it doesn't mean it's too soon for everyone else yeah, like true, like true, you don't true. have to do the rockets i'll take <laughs> i take a rocket balloon every three hours yeah, right? just, i wanted more time for the dratinian so you know, speaking of rocket balloons side side story uh, um two of butters when we went to euic 2022 the first event we we're walking around we we're grinding around before the event started and you know, I haven't. I just had to my first time meeting him, right? But we're just like, it was me, him, Speedy, Chief, and Psionic. We're walking around, and he's like, "Man, how come Giovanni keeps showing up in these balloons?" <laughs> and I was like, "You have your you you have your super radar equipped?" It? He's like, "What's that?" I was like, "I mean, let me see your phone." And he has super radar equipped, it, right? <laughs> and I was like. Dude, you have had your super radar equipment. That's what every balloons Giovanni. He's like, oh, is that why? He's like, I don't want the shadow. He's like, I don't want the shadow Latio, so that's why I keep like declining. I'm saving for like a Mewtwo or something, right? I was like, well, shadow Latio is the one in rotation for these past few months. And I was like, how long have you had the shadow radar equipped? He's like, I've always had it equipped, right? Since it happened. So this man has literally been having Giovanni show up in his balloon every six hours for who knows how many months until I tell him to unequip it. He finally learns about that mechanic. And you know oh, what? Man. At Portland, he's no. upset with me. And he's like, what? I could have had a Shadow Lotus because we saw uh, Mormon Matt yes. use the Luster Perch, right? And it looked really good. I was like, don't he blame me. You had, had months. That Shadow, that that Giovanni Shadow Latios showed up at your doorstop more than anyone in the world probably, right? <laughs> you probably had over 100 plus chances to do a Shadow Latios. Don't blame me for telling you to turn it off when you said you didn't want it, right? This is on you, Butters. But I'm just cracking up the fact that this guy had a shadow launcher show up in his balloon for how many months before he finally turned it off? <laughs> yeah, because back then we didn't have a shadow event every like, well, actually it's still like every three months still. So yeah, yeah. so he like- was at least three months at least, maybe maybe more than that. Because back then like the shadow events were even less frequent. Yeah, it was like right off of the pandemic. Anyway, side yeah. note. Also, uh, shadow Latios, I I think it's like you're not missing out if you don't actually have one because. Yeah. It's so hard to play. But it's got more the same, play it like pretty much the same exact stats as Dragonite, um, and it has like roughly Dude, that the luster same perch looked disgusting. That luster yeah. perch hit harder than a focus blast on a Lickitung. It was yeah. crazy. It's true. Yeah. It's true. That was nuts. But they, I think they're similar in terms of like a majority of the time you can probably just get away with Shadow Dragonite and you'd be fine. Uh, and maybe sometimes it's even better because uh, like it's a spice, you know, super it's power. You know? But yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, Lickdown's nice do, licks do add up, and Lickdown's pretty high usage. Yeah, yeah, it's true, it's uh, true. But you have way more playing to Azumarill. Yeah, that Luster yeah, Purge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd be hidden. Uh, I do think it's pretty hard to use more matches. Really talented. Anyway, Taken Treasures. This is the new Rocket Team Go Rocket event. Starts on the 27th of Saturday. Uh, so in four days, roughly, depending mm-hmm. on when you're listening to this episode. And then ends on Thursday the 1st. Uh, so we'll start during the Liverpool event. Uh, Pokemon debuts. So we have uh, Varum and then Revarum, which I thought was hilarious because Rumor Power tweeted out. He's like, "I've been, I'm waiting for, I've been waiting for this event." <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I don't the, think they're really relevant. Two, for much. I think their moves, unfortunately, are. So the thing is, is the typing is super interesting because I don't know if um, if Steel Poison. If there are other Pokemon with Steel Poison, maybe there are, but I don't think in Pokemon Go there are. 
Um, oh. So steel poison is just a, like a very interesting type. That is a super interesting. Um, but yeah, I think the moves that it's been again is is data mine, so it could change. Um, I, I think it's you know what? I think it's moves and also stats because realistically, Rev of Room is like pretty glossy regardless, even if it did get like a better bait move. Um, yeah, and, let me uh, compare it to a Swamper. It's more frail than Swamper. It's more attack, less defense, way less stamina. Yeah, and Varum just doesn't reach fifteen hundred. So, yeah, not yeah, really. So, hey, that sounds either. like a nice little little veteran losing. Uh, what instead of it. instead of Loudred? Varum. No, 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 no. You still running Loudred? I'm saying like maybe next season you have to run Varum. Let's see how bad it is though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's poison seal. So double resist charm fairy, mm. which there's not a lot of things that do that, but now it will. So Covers lick, for the poison trap, which is cool. Wait, what? The like the poison type covers for the fighting weakness of steel as well. So yeah, but it's double weak to ground. So double weak to ground is yeah. Ah, uh, but you know, there's still, like magneton, magnezone and stuff that's still pretty solid yeah. even with that double weakness. Uh, but it definitely adds up. Uh, lick poison jab takedown, Zen have I don't even know what takedown looks like. Oh, um, it's terrible. So I think it's like yeah. a bad tackle. Yeah, that's the, yeah, yeah. There's already a lot of bad normal type moves. So yeah, that's not helping. Um, those uh, are the mind move sets, of course. Yeah. So uh, poison so jab is nice. Yeah, poison jab's not too bad. And then, um, let's see oh, how overheat you know acid spray. Oh, it's got a ton There's of moves. moves on this. So I think maybe, maybe they're definitely going limited. Might... I feel like, yeah, I should so... say definitely. I, mean, I can't speak for 19, yeah. but that's my guess. Well, then I guess if you look at all these moves that I can potentially get access to, it's like, what oh, would you, you know? Move... Why you know why? Why change your settings? Oh, we have we're speculative. On the settings. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have the speculative. Yeah, if we change the settings, I think it's going to be different. Um, let's see. See. Yeah, because we're we're on it. Yeah, good thing. Yeah, if you change the settings, it's way different. It's acid spray, gunk shot, gyro yeah, bar, yeah. overheat. It's just poison it really, jab and lick. It really does need fine. like a better bait move, I think. I yeah. don't know. Uh, I guess it. I guess it just doesn't have the stats to be using poison jab. You don't have coverage spray. either. What are you going to yeah. throw a ground Pokemon? Pretty Gyarable? much just. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. 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 What, yeah. What's the stats thing in the Ultra League? I imagine it's probably just as. Uh, Ultra League is yeah, 33.5. Like, it's not... All right, so let me try to think of a comparison for it. I mean, Tentacle is way far uh, ahead in stat product. Yeah. Uh, Trevenant? No, even Trevenant has more stat product than this. Yeah. So Trevenant has less attack, almost same exact defense, but like almost 20 more stamina. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty glossy. Yeah, and it doesn't really is... reach Master League levels either, I don't think. Um. Yeah, twenty nine fifty one. That's not very good. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess it's just the stats kind of hold it back, which is a shame. But yeah. Oh well. Maybe it'll be good in a limited meta, or uh, we'll have Anacor show it off. You know, in uh, in, <laughs> I'll be in, the guinea pig. Great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll collect up some. Uh... I just keep my storage bits, but you know, <laughs> um, but, anyway, Team Girl Rocky will appear more frequently. My guess is similar to this current event, which is three hours. Um, you get TM frustration off now, which is nice. Um, mm. unlike before, Shadow Kyogre make his debut lit, very lit. Honestly, that's not a bad one to go. I would definitely recommend this over Reggie Seal and Reggie Rock and all that stuff, all the Reggies. Mm -hmm. But, um, um, also, um, Shadow, Shadow Kyogre, Kyogre, does that make Kyogre Great League eligible? As a shadow, as a shadow. Uh, good question. I don't think so, because Kyogre was in boxes before. Oh, was it? Uh, it was, and so yeah. was Groudon, and it, they they weren't. Eligible. And what? And what? Do they always come as level fifteen? They don't come as level eight. Yeah, and you, you couldn't even trade it under because like the stats were that good. I think. Is it definitely level fifteen and not level eight? It's low. It's always level fifteen, right? When it's For a shadow. when it's a shadow. I think so. Oh, maybe it is level eight. Because there's something in my mind that's saying level eight, but like I don't know what that particularly is for. Uh, I don't know. Like, let me okay, let me check my. It's not well either way. If it's level fifteen, it's impossible. Yeah, sure. if it's level eight, then it's possible. Which... It's level eight is possible. I don't. Uh, and honestly, okay, and uh, nah, the stats aren't great for great leagues. No, I mean, I don't actually, it's on a lot of fast. The coverage. Sure. No, it's it just what just run another water Loads waterfall user, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Like Kyogre is good because of its stats in Master League. It's not because yeah, of its coverage. Like it's got pure water coverage. Sometimes it's still. Good, I think right? it is level eight. You know, I'm looking at a Mewtwo that I've got. Uh, so yeah, check the Mewtwo. Uh, I don't know. Great League Shadow Kyogre. Anyway, 
you probably want one for Master League, and that's about it if you can get a good one. But um, Shadow uh, Raid debut for Shadow Ho will be around. Yeah. So that'll just be Saturday and Sunday. Again, like these are so cool raids. Just like, why not have it for the full month, right? Yeah, personally, I agree. Even month? if it was just like, I mean, I guess they do that with the the other legendaries as well, where it's only the weekends. But like, yeah, like I mean, Shadow Lugia, Shadow Mewtwo, yeah. they're only just the one weekend. Yeah, <sighs> please, I take. I don't. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even Shadow know how Moltres, many Shadow Moltres, Shadow Articuno stuff, and Shadow Zapdos. Yeah, it ain't the thing. They're stale now, bro. And they just weren't that good to begin with, <laughs> you know? Like, even when they came out, like, they were not, never going to be as useful as Mewtwo, Lugia, and Ho for Mass League mm-hmm. or for raid purposes. I mean, Moltres may be different. It's not bad for raid. Um, new Shadow Pokemon, though, are coming out Shadow Corefish and eh. Shadow Snow Run. Could be interesting with Shadow Frost Slash. Shadow Chimchar. Probably nothing that relevant. Shadow I mean, Pipla. Do you know what the thing is? I would say, uh, okay, Pipla the... could be interesting. Crawdon. The ch- do you know what? Okay, I think nearly all of them, maybe not the Ferrothorn, because what's what's Ferrothorn's stats at the moment? Ferrothorn is defense weighted. So I I, I don't think the Ferrothorn will ne- necessarily be better than the original. But a lot of these Pokemon are kind of glossy. And it's like, if they're already glossy to start with, then the shadow bonus is only a benefit, right? So obviously something like an Infernape isn't going to be like meta, but having um you know a really hard hitting close combat and blast burn, might see some usage at some point, possibly. Yeah, um, Empoleon with, so uh, again, hard-hitting uh, Hydro Cannons. And I think Empoleon well. could be something, though, because it's got really good stat. Oh, it's yeah. got really good typing. Frostlass could be interesting. If Frost you're in a meta be... where there's not a lot of fast attack pressure, mm-hmm. dude, you're going to start shielding. I mean, a lot of people shield the Registeel from Frostlass already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. you know what? More oh. Shadow Frostlass, better for Bastion. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ain't no way shield it. I you mean, laugh. Uh, and every time I say this, right? Every time I say, yo, it's looking better and better for Bastion, and I succeed yeah. with Bastion, it's like, I, I feel like, you know what I feel like? I feel uh, like I'm like the guy that said the world was round and no one believed him for <laughs> years. You know what was crazy? It was in my team <laughs> chat today, right? And uh, uh, one of our teammates, Monstars, was climbing a lot with a Bastion and I leave team, I think. I don't, I don't even know what the third was, but he was running it and he like climbed a lot. And then Polly responds back and says, "Oh my gosh, this team's actually really good. So many matches for Bastion, just hard wins, dude. What? That's been the thing for years. I appreciate it. Now you're like, oh, Bastion's good in GBL. <laughs> like what? People knew oh, that was the case. Show six is a different story. He's talking about, oh wow, Bastion's good in GBL. What? I, I'm like about to pull my hair out reading it. I'm, I'm like, I've been telling you. He literally has access to all my patron chats and strategy guys. And you know how many Bastion teams I came up with, right? And I climbed yeah. to hit Legend myself. And here he is using Galarian Stumpfist when it nerfed Earthquake. Right? You know what's funny as well is I've recently been hearing people talking about how good Bastion is as well. Yeah. And you know who else said that? You in a, in a recent, in recent yeah. DMs. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, in I'm, show I'm not six, this Bastion is right. I I was winning I was winning matches you know like and the thing yeah. is also like uh, let me say I was winning matches and these are against very good players show six and, right you know afterwards yeah show six and afterwards they were like oh it was just RPS and I was looking at it and I was like do you know it's what the thing RPS. is though it really wasn't because I knew that you were never gonna bring this Pokemon you're never yeah. gonna bring this Pokemon I could safe swap my bastard on yeah and actually <laughs> yeah. be so confident that you well, weren't that's even another level yeah that's crazy if their team's that oh, with was, the bastard you can so, safe swap it they're, so they're it's not RPS they're just straight stupid for bringing a team that's that weak to it that's not rps I was <laughs> i'd be like you yeah. should have thought about yeah. your team <laughs> building before right you yeah. rps you brought a bunch of scissors to a re- matchup with one <laughs> rock what do you mean rps really true, yeah. yeah i can't lie the was was doing bits you know i know and this I know. wasn't even this wasn't even my uh breakpoint bastard on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i need to still build that i need to do a load of trades and, and you know uh corporate. so i learned this actually back i was a psychology major in college uh-huh. and um they so there's if there's like a weird box or so it's like a a venn diagram right it's like people people that are like clinically insane or crazy or mentally ill whatever and people that are very creative and ahead of the curve sometimes overlap right so sometimes (laughs) so there's like overlapping similarities sometimes they actually are like mentally insane too right but the overlap (laughs) is that people view creatives and sometimes that's they are you know a little bit weird i mean i'm weird too so i I might be i might have some issues but they're they're so far gone from the norm 
that the the average people cannot see logic behind their thought process. They're like, you're crazy, right? There's no way this idea works. And then the thing is, the more successful an idea eventually is, and slowly the norm realizes it, and then it so shifts like the, the entire thought process of the average population over to them, right? Which is why, like, maybe someone like Picasso at the time, no one thought those paintings were good until he died, and they're like, wait, this is, like, yeah. genius, right? That's why a lot of artists are like that, actually. A lot of artists become more yeah. famous when they're dead. It's not because, like, they died. It's because, like, people start appreciating their work more. That's yeah. me. With Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> so we just need to wait until you die and then people will be no, no, like, hopefully not that. Hopefully people yeah. look, hey, look if, you, point now. if you <laughs> want to wait till that happens, be my guest. But for the people that actually That's realize the, the truth up. and realize that, hey man, yeah. he might be the Picasso of Pokemon Go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Yeah. Chop off my ears so I could be Van Gogh? <laughs> like I got He's already bleached his hair. This is not yeah, enough, what but... else what you want? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, next, I'm gonna have I'm gonna look like a clown next week right how far <laughs> gone do you need me to be to realize that there's greatness behind the crazy right <laughs> oh man yeah uh anyway yeah, it's true it's true so new shadows yeah, I th- you know what i was in the meantime looking at shadow cordon and yeah. one thing i'll say is the reason oh, it's interesting know. is obviously it's basically it. got the same stats as greninja so you're imagining a, a shadow greninja but it paces less quickly uh, I just, don't know. I think obviously Greninja's advantage is the fact it paces so quickly. But the Hydro Cannon, know, maybe there's is it, well, there. Water Shuriken is such a good move too. As well. If you gave Greninja yeah, the same moves as Corf, uh, Crawdon, it, it'd be it wouldn't be good. The thing is, Crab Hammer but is with, already with one of the, the best attack, moves. I think. No, but the problem is it never it never lacked damage. It lacked bulk mm. and speed, right? Because yeah. I think um because Crab Hammer I think is one of the best water moves already in the game, and you never yeah. see anyone use it. Right, let me look well, at the recommended move now is Scold because I think Crabhammer and Scold are now the same damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh my gosh. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. They, they Scold is actually kind of crazy now. I think about it. I didn't realize it's a Crabhammer. Yeah. It's a Crabhammer yeah, clone, yeah. but better. It has a higher chance. No, okay. Chance, yeah. Okay. No, no. This is. This is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it has a chance to debuff your opponent's attack, whereas Crabhammer has a 12.5 chance of boosting your oh, okay, attack to by boost two. You, yeah. yeah. Well, I guess you already get that with nice. Wow. Thing. Okay. Well, Crabhammer is not as good as I thought it was, and Scald is way better than I thought it was. Yeah. Holy but crap, you know what? I was I was chatting to some people, and they were like, "Yeah, Dynamic Punch is still better than Scald," and I was like, "What? There's loads of uh, moves that are like actually better than Scald in terms of like damage for energy, which I didn't realize. Dynamic punch like damage good. for 50. Oh energy. wow, Dynamic Punch. Really yeah, is. I didn't even Wait, realize. Wait, Crab Hammer just Skull wasn't was as good there. as I thought it was. Then. Yeah, same. I thought it was amazing, but apparently not. Yeah. Oh, I just thought like Crab Hammer was like this fabled water move that no one ever uses because <laughs> right? the, the crustacean are so bad. Yeah, but yeah. wow, <laughs> yeah. Dynamic Punch being that good it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I stand corrected. Uh, anyway. uh, but anyway, no, I, I think it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be super successful, but. Um, um something like a we got, on, i feel like needs more fast attack pressure but yeah maybe um in the raids however the shadow raids we've got um you know nice to have uh the shadow what's it sand there because i mean i feel like most people already no, have it you yeah, but my brother's this, it's already in like, the stops yeah it's all over the place yeah, my, my brother was just like, I haven't even got one yet. I'm like, bro, what are you what? doing? What? Like, I, I know mean, he barely wait, plays. There's more the like time, Shadow like... Sandshrew than Shadow Low and I Bulpix. know. I know. I don't, I don't really know what he's doing. Oh, I have a bunch of um, Shadow Pinoco, kind of cool. Um, Shadow Scyther. So we haven't had Shadow Scyther and Shadow Skarmory in ages. Those so two will be the fact nice. that they're coming into yeah. raids should be kind of cool. Um, and like unrelated, but Glaring Weezing. I like that. Uh, yeah. Whenever Galarian Weezing's there is nice. Yeah. No. Um, that's about it for the good stuff for sure. Uh, and there's some paid yeah. research. But... A load of poison spawns. Um, and there is a couple. No, nah, that was the that was the research we discussed last time. I think it was. So. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Well. Uh, well. Best of luck if you're shadow hunting for sure. Mm-hmm. And let's get into the one thing I'll say events. quickly. Yeah. Is do we maybe still not know what the leader lineups are? Or is it likely going to be one of those six new ones? Uh, I think it might. Was it data mine? I don't know. But I don't think I don't it's. Um, yeah, no. Just It just says in the graphic, even from Galix, it's just this new yeah. lineup for leaders and grunts. So could be something cool. Could be something cool. Could be. 
Um, yeah, I, honestly, if they, I, they well, they're going to remove Sabot, the current lineup for sure, right? Bell's probably I'm not going to miss because that's literally in the decoys too. Do you know what I think they need to put in there? I think they need to put Glagor. I think Glagor is missing, you Glygo know, from being be cool. something so relevant, yeah, in the meta right now. I think Glagor Skarmory. I'll take yeah, a Skarmory. I think they need to do that. Shiny yeah. Shadow Skarmory. That's new. That's kind of lit. Shiny yeah. Shadow Glagor is also new too. That would be a yeah, good one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's yeah. too late for Night to do anything, even if they hear this podcast. But um, but if yeah, you don't do true. Shadow Glagor for this one, maybe yeah. for next one. We need um, we need Shadow Glagor in there. You know? I think a good Master League Pokemon would be nice too. What as the um, oh okay. as one like of the leaders? What? I don't know. We had Dratini right now, right? Um, yeah. Maybe Excadrill. We've had Metagross loads of times. Yeah, Beldon. Oh, yeah, Excadrill could be cool. Excadrill could say. be interesting. Yeah, that um, hasn't really come in many stops generally. Yeah, Teddy Ursa's already been done rare. too. I don't know what what other shadows. Magikarp, shiny. Oh, shiny mm. shadow Magikarp. That could be cool. That could be That'd cool. be really yeah. dope, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. If someone loves me at Niantic, please think of me. <laughs> 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 at least for the next rotation. <laughs> yeah, we won't know until then. Um, I, I do hope that because Sableye will be taken off. I do hope that it gets added to the Ghost Stomp again or whatever. Or the yeah, stomp. yeah, I agree. Uh, that's really I feel like these kind of mons where they have like direct meta relevance should just be put into the regular pool. Yeah, I will say though Sableye is not as relevant now. And the good it's part not is as relevant, it, it, but then the thing is, is we're we're like not very far off from another move change. So you yeah. don't know what's gonna happen in you know coming up to next season. So to be fair though, yeah. Sableye as well is not as important in my opinion because everyone's using the purify version, so you could always trade it to someone that doesn't have it. Yeah, but that's like that's a difficult thing to do. And then also like to trade you it, mean? you have well, to actually have one to trade, you know. No, you know what do you mean? You don't have one. Like, because you can only trade one a day, first of all. And oh, then yeah, it's a like, special well, trade. But, uh, but uh, yeah. I will then, say, like, I feel like a lot of people that run the Purified State Buy are from trades, no? The one I run is from a trade. I was a low friendship trade. Oh, mine's just from a thing. Oh, from I, a I, I felt like it was very difficult to get from low friendship trades. Or at least, well, yeah, like... I did a bunch. I did a bunch, yeah. Because yeah. also, it's like the difference is going to be base two versus base one or zero. Or more like base one. So it's like the what amount... Do I do a So, friendship. like... You can you can get okay you can get on zero friendship yeah but you're only get, gonna get one and, and then you can after do it that, on one friendship on one, one friendship yeah which so is still like, better than a purified one from shadow yeah but it's like the difference is so small where you may as well just base two it. I'm, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying I mean if not, you get something good the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm just saying for that one it's you don't need it's not the shadow variant right like yeah, I think yeah. a shadow Glygar is much more available than a shadow Sableye and stops right. All right. Okay. Um, we have a uh, Road to Sinnoh events. You want to this it one is cool. This one is very cool because this one was just announced this morning, right? Yeah, I didn't see it. You added to the channel, yeah. actually. It is looking lit. Or, yeah, it's, it's looking kind of lit. Yeah. Uh, so, Monday, February 19th to mm -hmm. Friday. Wait, it's live right now. What? Yeah. No, oh, no, sorry. No, February. Sorry, I said, I said, no, I got, I got, I'm <laughs> bugging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? Anyway. I missed this. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I believe Break it, it down. ends yeah. right before 20, Go Fest. Go and Fest? Global Go Fest. Uh, what is it? Go Tour. Global yeah, Go yeah, Tour. Goes, global yeah, yeah. Go Tour. Yeah. So it ends right before Go Tour. And then I think it happens up. right after the LA Go Tour. Yeah. After the LA one, just before the global one. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you get pay tickets and stuff. You get 10 Diallo candy, 10 Palka candy, 5 XO, Heatran, Giratina, Cresselia, Dark Bright, XO candy. I mean, I don't yeah. think the pay ticket is that So the good. pay ticket is mainly the two plus raid passes per day. That's, I think, the main draw for the pay ticket. I think everything else is kind of like mediocre. In terms of like, Wait, you know, no, no, you just no. need I think, one. I think it's, well, no, there's hatches still for the pay ticket. Oh, then oh, they're no. two different pay tickets. Oh no, they, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. there's another one. So the yeah, yeah. five dollars for this one. one. But this one, time research for hatch include patch resu, chat talk, and carnivine. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's cool. Um, Especially for people who didn't do because I think was carnivine. Oh no, carnivine is oh, carnivine's been oh, around. No, you don't have carnivine. Dude, I have a ton of no, carnivine. I do have carnivine, yeah. But carnivine is like my exclusive trade bait whenever I go places. Because they no were only available in like I, South America and stuff. No, no, no. They weren't. Well, not even South America. No, Southeast US. It wasn't even South oh, America. Oh, no, no. I'm thinking about Maractus. I'm thinking about Maractus. Oh, uh, you're. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, Carnivine was, was in GoFest, didn't it? 
Carnival yeah, is it was, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. Cool, cool. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And I guess it's nice still fairly rare. Well, yeah. Maractus you get in Florida as well and South America. Yeah. Just saying, I'm Wait, safe. Wait, when were you in South America? I, yeah. uh, I think it was l- two years ago, something like that. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. super rare. You better start yeah. trading, though, because it's going to be global. Not even, yeah. not even the global release. The longer time you wait... The- yeah, it's going to be lucky. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 not even that. <laughs> not even yeah. the lucky thing. Uh, no, the more people, uh, the more that people get Maractus from everyone else that have it. Um, yeah, well, but, I'm going to Japan next month, so I mean, maybe, but hey, I mean, my Maractus they weren't clamoring be, yeah. for your Maractus during Go yeah, their bro. worlds, but They're always clamoring for my Maractus. <laughs> no, no. When I said that, when I was saying the longer, <laughs> the longer that time goes on, uh, I started laughing because I was looking at your face, and I feel like the longer this recording's going on, the more facial hair is grown. I feel like you've had more <laughs> facial hairs from the beginning till now. I don't know. Someone got rewired oh two lie, hours earlier. Like <laughs> it looks like he's literally been growing facial hair the past two hours. <laughs> It is low key true. I can't lie. <laughs> uh, it's too funny. No, You'll have to be good. staring at my face on a freaking <laughs> uh, like a like a time loop. Not a time uh, loop. What's that called? Um, uh, time time lapse, lapse to see. Yeah, to see that happen. <laughs> You'll see probably the roots of my hair grow up sooner and <laughs> faster. Uh, anyway, so you get double hatch XP and hatch candy and stardust if you have the hatch one. Nice uh, fa- fans of eggs. Well, especially for if you need the patch resu, right? I think that's the biggest yeah, yeah, biggest yeah. one for PPers. Uh wild encounters, yeah. just the Sinnoh stuff. It's not a big deal. Um But uh yeah, we have we have raids. We have the the Lake Trio, the Uxi. Um So in Best order Great first, so on the nineteenth, we have Darkrai. Yeah, but Dark Cry. So only on the nineteenth. Yeah, Dark Cry can't trade. So if you want to use it for Master yeah. League, you need to raid it, but not not really relevant mm-hmm. for Master League. Not very relevant. Twentieth, uh, yeah. we have Cresselia. Now, big one yeah. because Cresselia. Uh, really I think the last right time it was out was GoFest, right? Yeah, in New yeah, York. Yeah, 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 around GoFest. Go yeah. So, and obviously, it's super relevant at the moment in the meta. Um, I've been. I've had a lot of people ask me for low level Cresselia trades too. Yeah, like, I've run out. Recent. I've, I've run really out too. Run actually, out, yeah, 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 yeah I yeah. ran out too. So, I mean, I um, personally don't need one, but I might just raid them just to have them to trade. Same. With I, I guess yeah, I can upgrade. Yeah. You, Onion Frank, maybe I don't, uh-huh. I don't, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't spoil this, but he says he's never going to run it. He has the rank one Cresselia from low, low friendship, Whoa. like the lowest r- spread. It's like a 1 Wait. 15 15. It That's hits like 1500 on the dot. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, Cause you know what's mad? Yeah, is like there's the, there's the rank one Cresselia. Yeah. And then there's the rank two Cresselia, which is actually better because realistically, you're not doing any damage with the, the psycho cuts anyway. So the yeah. rank two actually has more bulk. Um, well, maybe it's a two fifteen thirteen. I don't know, but it's whatever the one fifteen um, fifteen. That is insane. One fifteen fifteen. Yeah, that's the rank two. That's the rank two. But that's like the best. Oh one. no no no! He has the rank one. Then he has the rank one. He has. Oh, he's the two fifteen thirteen. Yeah. So he legit has like. The, I remember when I saw it. Whatever it was, it was the actual rank it's one. He showed insane, it to me at Portland. Man. But he, I was like, "Why don't you run it? It's literally meta right now." He's like, "Nah, yeah. I'm not gonna run it." <laughs> like you just straight up. <laughs> Let me. Uh... Yeah, show, show it off. For uh, ev- all our audience and everyone that's going to face you in Melbourne. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to show it. Right, take a screenshot anyway, okay. to me then. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, <laughs> you going to run Cresselia in Melbourne? Uh, I don't know. I feel like you're going to have a funky one where you're going to lose charge check priority and you have no stat product. <laughs> be like a 1482. Uh, a rank 40. But this is also rank 40 considering. Um, Your Cresselia like, is a rank 40? Yeah, but it's rank 40 according to Poker Genie, so it's like actually probably a better rank because they consider base zero. Oh, so, oh, so you have a really good one then. Yeah. Let's see what rank it actually is. Yeah. That's kind of nuts. Oh, well, yeah. Rank. Don't throw on charts. 23. It's pretty good. Rank what's a, what's a CP hit? Uh, 49.99. Oh, that's clean. Sorry. That's clean. Yeah, that's what are you rating Cristelli for? Just for trade bay, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, just for trades, to be honest. Um, um so lake then, trio on the, on the 21st 20. yeah. yeah and then we got heat heat on, on the 22nd mm-hmm. um and giratina origin on 23rd yeah um and then after that is going to be like the diagos and pokers because it's going to be the weekend of the thing yeah. however this one i am loving so dark cry chrysalia heat and giratina origin are going to be in timed research yeah, that yeah, that's means true. Great League Giratina Eligible. Origin and Great League Heatran. Heatran. In Darkrai, you can't trade, so I don't think that cool. one's. 
But like, so I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I, th- I think Darkrai doesn't come under because you can't trade it. And I yeah. checked level fifteen, and none of them it's come come under fifteen hundred. Yeah, um, none of the spreads. So it's literally just those two. But uh, yo, I'm about to add that to the list when I'm at Go Fest. Yeah, man. Level yeah. fifteen Giratina, because a lot of people don't <laughs> I mean, BB, so they just they just yeah, ask for a regular yeah. Giratina back sometimes. Bro, what do you think I'm gonna do the whole time in Japan? Yeah, I'm gonna be dashing out these Maractus. Yeah, I'm gonna be reaping in the Giratinas. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah. and they're gonna be All so right. guests as well. Be like, wait, how long are you gonna be in Japan for? Uh, maybe like two weeks. I, I still need to book my tickets, but probably like two weeks. Okay. Yeah. All right. You better be on that grind. Wait, you're gonna be in Japan? That's great for me. Wait, what? Japan when? Well, February, uh, February to like March. Like, yeah. What? What part? How much of March are you in Japan? I don't know. I have to decide. All I know is you ain't GBL and <laughs> that hardcore in Japan. Ain't no time for Mexican music when you're just eating sashimi and stuff and enjoying the enjoying the hot springs, right? Hey, you and are, you know yeah, me, know I'm right. Who, I, we're gonna be voting up Anacor for that louder stream, right? <laughs> who are on the top of the GBL leaderboards? Japanese. Yeah. So. There's, it doesn't there's matter though, there. just because you're in judge. Uh, <laughs> no, the... it's not the air. That's just their dedication to the craft, right? <laughs> but you're on vacation in Japan. That's the difference maker. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see. Yeah, you don't see me here on top of GBL lie. leaderboard with it. the LNDS GBL Lindos when I'm in Brazil for LDIC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, well, hopefully I make it back early, but I'm not going to lie. It does feel like you're going to have a head start because even if, let's say, you know, I'm going to be there for two weeks. Even if I like started going back like at the beginning of March, um, I won't be ready to like do proper GBL for at least a week. So yeah, you might have like a week or two of like serious head start, but it's fine. It's fine, man. I'm going to make Loudred work if I need to. Yeah. We all oh, know yeah. what happened this time. So oh, yeah. it's, it's, I think of a legend uh, punishment. Speaking, speaking of ELO and GBL, let's let's uh-huh. talk about for next season, right? Because we don't even we didn't, no, I mean no, ELO no. check you can if you want to, but like it is what it is. Uh, I just I stopped playing at some point. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We didn't think of a legend for a loser because no one actually came up with a recommendation. And I think it's better we do it. Okay. Um, so no tattoo. No tattoo. No. No tattoo. I don't really shave eyebrows. So risky. I can't do that. I don't mind shaving eyebrows. Too I much. know, and you don't even mind. So that's like not oh, even. Right, okay. like, okay. <laughs> that's not even. Uh, that's not even a big factor. I don't know. You need you dying for a piercing or anything? Yeah, I could, I, I could do that. I don't mind. Yeah, but see, you don't mind, so that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? Like, that's, yeah. that's not really a. It's something you don't mind. <laughs> really I feel like it. I had um, something in mind, but I can't remember what it is now. Um. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I don't like this, long this, is, okay. this is this is pretty funny. All right. Under the assumption, uh huh. Under the assumption that I'm also competing at UIC, which I'll probably aim to, especially if I'm not casting it. The loser has a cosplay as Misty. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're <a> crop top. <laughs> That's good, right? That's hilarious. That's Yo, everyone at USC right. gonna be taking pictures with you. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Can we can we just clarify for one day? Yeah, for one day. Yeah, for the okay, main day. Okay. For the like for the Friday, right? Well, for the longest that, day. Wait, right? which day for the Friday? For the, wait, because yeah. Saturday's top cut and then Sunday's just challenge. Yeah, yeah, because right? what if you don't make top cut? You're just sitting in the audience and it's like, I need you to see you potentially be on stage as Misty, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, look at this. Look at how you Misty cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get the overalls, the like the crop top, the short shorts. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm Let's, just imagining I, Anacor I, with the blue short shorts with hairy legs uh, underneath. <laughs> That's I'm, pretty I'm sorry good. in it, yeah, but <sighs> That's good. Get get That's ready, good. get ready for uh, <laughs> get ready to pull out of the competition. Let me just say, <laughs> that's so good, right? I, 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 <laughs> are, we doing it? are we doing that for sure? I'm just I'm scared. I'm legit. Scared. Okay, again, this is on the this is on I'm the basis. I'm gonna pray that, that get COVID if I get if I lose this bet and I can't go to UIC. <laughs> okay so this is this is the preliminary like provided we're both competing so we do also need a backup if you're not so the backup okay so here's the backup if 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 i don't end up going i don't think it's fair for you to go to an international like that 
the next regional we both attend, we uh, either of us attend, we have to dress up. Okay, but I think so it's just funny be... for so 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 like yeah, I mean, yeah, if you yeah. want to do e- if you lose and you want to do ESC because you're going either way, doing... you can. No. But but yeah. but if you end up doing like, like yeah, yeah. yeah, if you end up doing but, okay. like uh, well, here's a the later thing. regional, here's the thing. In if you Europe. okay, so they probably would pick. EU casters, yeah. But let's yeah. say, for example, if they did pick you to cast, no, that yeah, can't dress that, up, right? Then, so then you, then you also can't. Yeah, no way. What do you mean? I can't show okay. up as Missy if you're. Like, <laughs> I mean, what? you can. <laughs> like, I feel like something. Dude, but... This is. I'm kind of sweating <laughs> thinking about this idea. This is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it? <laughs> the thing is, I, I think it's good, but the thing is, yeah, I definitely won't <laughs> enjoy it. Yeah, but I think. Oh, if yeah, I have no to kidding. Do, Who's gonna enjoy that? I'm find a way to make it. I'm gonna find a way to make it work. Oh, I don't know gosh. how, but oh, dude, I don't know. I, am, I, I might just have to work I'm out loads. A, I'm not missing a set. <laughs> work out loads? What do you mean? It's not. It's <laughs> that, not about like how fit time. you look. It's just that you have a crop top up to here and short know, shorts, know, right? But, Even but if, you if got you're six... also unfit, then it makes it look worse. You know. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, I think you'd be it, looking kind of funky shape, with then. a six pack too, right? It'd be look like real yeah, yeah, real nasty with big quads. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Dude, that is funny. <laughs> let's run that <laughs> that's right. so good oh my gosh dude hey, if bro, people haven't heard of the podcast be before time, this yeah. they go on to definitely <laughs> listen to the podcast after this right <laughs> why are you dressed up outcast podcast baby wow mexican music is gonna be in overtime the thing okay, is actually, the worst thing is, is i, I, I got i got i got i got even funnier thing all right so instead the you know fit, whoever of it uh, oh, like whoever of us it is you know is going to be picked to go on stream yeah, because they're going to do that. Yeah, they're one hundred percent going to do that. One hundred percent. Even if it's a loser's bracket, you're going. Exactly, yeah. they're going to they're going to yeah. stick you on stream. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So, so I, I got another thing, right? So you know how we should uh, do the clown fit, right? Uh, clown mask uh, for every week after. Yeah. Instead, you have to wear the Missy outfit every week that you don't hit legend. Okay, that's not even on the that recording. Bad, on top of the on top of the UIC. Yeah, but it's like how much of our actually, like... you know what? Let's um no, let's do the cloud mask. You know why? Because yeah, what if what if someone hits it before um UIC? I don't want I don't want the it to be spoiled. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. I don't want because because yeah. I'm imagining like oh if you're like I'm going to just get all my laughs out watching you in the recording. <laughs> I want to get all. I want to <laughs> see it in person, right? <laughs> Uh, you know what the good thing is? is I'm, I'm, imagine, right? I'm, I'm going to bring my vlog camera. I'm going to show up and I want to walk, walk in recording <laughs> and so I can see you and they can hear my reaction. <laughs> hey, you're already you're already looking I'm not, I'm way losing. too far down, down I'm one not time. losing like, this one, right? There's no shot. <laughs> you thought I didn't want to bleach my hair or perm my hair. I, there's like... no way either of us want to do this, right? <laughs> There's no way, be like, ah, you know, this is a bet that Caleb doesn't mind losing if he loses. There's, uh, no do you way. know what the good thing is? Is because it's London, yeah, like generally people won't like look at you twice as much as other twice places. as much. I'm imagining yeah. you riding the so train over benefit, to EYC yeah. and Missy Fit. There's a bit of a benefit, like people Actually, would just I, look and they'll no, be like, oh, I, okay. Honestly, if, if it was yeah. me, and I would probably, I mean, you could, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If it was me, oh, I put on a jacket and, and, and like yeah. sweatpants. Yeah. I put on, and I'll I t- put, not yeah. put on the wig until I show up at the venue. There's no <laughs> way. You also do that There's as well. No yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to yeah. be on the train looking yeah. at that. I'm already, I'm, le- I'm already stressed to compete. I don't want more stress <laughs> from people looking at me in the freaking train, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you know what would be, do you know what would be even worse as well? Is if one of us makes day two with that. <laughs> that'd just be like a ridiculous <laughs> like day you know, two like, you're just gonna re- re- dress regular i feel like if you make day two you should just dress up as missy again <laughs> do you know what you know i honestly funny? I, you know I funny? Think day two you dress up as brock and day three you dress up as ash ketchup <laughs> <You make it. laughs> but that's, that's like uh, not that bad though it's, it's not as bad I, yeah i think I, I i'm happy to do the day two clause that if whoever it is makes day two they have to do day two as misty what because because i think that's funny and i think yeah, also you've done day one already. It. day one's the majority of okay, it how about this? people who um, how how stay two, they don't really care and then it's just funny for the how content about this? you know if if you if you make day two and day three you wear it for all three days okay put it this okay. way yeah yeah, yeah. Like, like once worst you've case, done day two worst you case well scenario day. you're dressed up as missy in top three uyc yeah yeah, yeah. might right, as well cool, embrace cool. it right yeah 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 I, 
100%. I back that. I back that. Because also, again, you know, I think everything after day one, yeah, it's like if you make day two, yeah, then it's just bonus content. Then it's just good, you know. Then it's not even like, yeah. to be honest, it's no it's no longer embarrassing. It's just like good content, yeah. So it's yeah. just a benefit to everyone. And then yeah. day three is pretty much the same. So it's like, you know. Um, I just imagine the missing <laughs> wig trying to put the headset you over it. <laughs> <laughs> Adjusting your wig like. <laughs> oh, this is. Uh, hey, yeah, yeah, let's run that. Props to me uh, for that idea. I just came up with on the spot, but I like it. I, I like guess it. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I think that pretty much does it for us. I had a tea topic, but it's not really that relevant. You heard that game Power World? Yeah, out. I've seen it. I mean, in short, I guess we can say like, yeah, they're ripping Pokemon, Pokemon assets. Models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then also, you know what the other thing is? I heard the game it's was like a pretty banging game. You know? Yeah, yeah. I saw like one game. tweet. I mean, so I don't, I don't really support the fact that they're ripping it off or anything, right? Yeah, obviously. That's uh, not- and I'm not even saying that as someone that works with TBCI, whatever. Yeah. It's just like that's just like kind of grimy in my opinion. Yeah. Like that was that was actually one thing that I kind of felt a little grimy when I was playing League of Legends is that it ripped off so many champions from Dota, which came before it, right? Oh, I didn't but, know that was a thing. Oh yeah, there's so many that overlap. Well, actually, I, I, I got the same game. No, 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 no different not? game, different game. Dota League of Legends is like a mod or something. No, it's not. A oh mod. no, no, it's, it's just a different it's, game. But they just completely different games, different company. They just stole so many. No, no, but that's the thing that Riot actually does, right? The company that makes it, they actually uh, do this okay. quite frequently. Uh, for um, for they have a they have like an auto chess called uh, TFT Team Fight Tactics, uh, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. used League of Legends characters, but they stole the idea from uh, Auto Chess essentially, which is like a, like the same exact concept, right? And then they also they have like a like a shooter game, first one shooter game that's very similar. I mean, shooter games are kind of like there's a lot that they pretty much just steal from each other. Yeah, anyway, so I mean, that's been around for a while. But yeah. they uh, but credit where credit is due, they made a really good game, and their production value is very high. Like uh, there's more people that play League of Legends and watch League of Legends than Dota, even though Dota came first. Wow. So um, so yeah. yeah. So I mean, but anyway, I think with this I think, thing. Yeah. I would say, yeah, so I don't, lo- it feels grimy that they stole a lot of assets, but I will say that competition in capitalistic society is healthy for driving higher, like better quality, yeah. Product, yeah, yeah. quality products. I mean, there's not really yeah, any they, competition for Pokemon right now, right? Yeah. And I think, I think predominantly because, um, because of the IP, it's like people mainly just play because of the IP. Do you know what I mean? It's not necessarily that they play because the gameplay is overwhelmingly good compared to other games or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. this is a, a problem with Pokemon in general, where it's like, you know, the the progress they've made in terms of like the main series games is, you know, kind of incremental. Obviously, Sword and Shield yeah. was like kind of a big one. Yeah. But then that yeah. was also, you know, because they had the Switch. Legends Arceus was very interesting in the the way they kind of chose to do it. Uh-huh. And Scarlet and Violet, I guess you could say they like kind of combined like, uh, you know, both of those things. But, you know, there were so many bugs and stuff in the beginning, which apparently are still persisting as well. Um, there's still a lot of things that they can do. And then also it's like, you know, when you're praising the fact that the game has these sorts of elements, which are elements that a lot of games have been doing for the last 10 or 15 years, it's a bit like, well... You know? Yeah. So I think, if anything, obviously, like you said, uh, you know, not good to steal assets, but I think uh, Game Freak can potentially look at this and be like, well, you know what? What were people liking from Power World? Yeah. And if honestly, if we dump it into an official Pokemon game, there's no way people are going to play Power World over an official Pokemon game if it has those, you know, kind of yeah. features. You know? Yeah. Obviously, I think it had like guns and lasers, so maybe I doubt they want to do that. But the other things, you know, just uh, yeah. like you know, make a bit more uh interesting i think i watched it? some gameplay but I, I don't actually know the full extent of it but it is kind of like a catch creature kind of situation yeah. i i do think that the future and i don't know if power world's like this i don't think so it seems like a solo player game or something but i do think the future for pokemon is to make an mmorpg so like a world of warcraft kind of yeah, style yeah, game yeah. but for pokemon because that's pretty much what pokemon is right you want to be the best trainer in the world you interact so i mean i feel like pokemon go is similar and esque of it yeah. but not quite but not right quite, yeah. not quite but I imagine if you're they, back they, at home it's like world yeah. of warcraft but pokemon like like i could travel to your region and like catch random stuff like you see everyone on the world map right yeah. it's not like solo play like you're walking around the town and you see like 
I see Anna Corsa Avatar walking by me, right? And we could go, like, we could literally game together. We could go, like, go to, like, Viridian, Viridian Forest or something and fight, like, Weedles together, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Weedles. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, uh, like, they, they had a tiny element of that in Sword and Shield, but it wasn't really MMORPG. It was, like, uh, I think people on your friends list or just people in general would kind of appear in the overworld in, in some areas, yeah. right? I think it was in the wild area. Um, so I, I guess Legends you, you kinda... Arceus is similar. Um, like it has it, it has a yeah. groundwork for MMORPG, but solo, yeah. single player. Well then how, I mean, in terms of League of Legends, was it League of Legends? No, World of Warcraft, sorry. Yeah. In terms of World of Warcraft, it's like, how do they um, stop the map from being cluttered with people? Oh, they, uh, they have, have different, different servers. Stuff? They have a bunch of different, they have a ton of different servers um but you know if you have like mass if you have like mmorpg it's super interesting because you could do like guild wars or like clan battles right so imagine like instead of like imagine challenging like the battle frontier with like yeah you show up with your seven (laughs) ten players and we're like yo like 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 it's not like a 1v1 or even 2v2 like uh, bgc battle it's like straight up like 10 percent. i'm like yo i'll set up the fence as bastia right you like you shoot you shoot them from behind with intellion right or like like you know you, you fly over them with charizard you know flank them from behind or something right like you know you could solar beam one from the back right as venusaur like that'd be wild right um, that'd be really cool that'd be that'd be super fun and i think there's a lot of potential i don't know if I don't blame Pokemon, right, from a company perspective, because if it's working well, what you're doing, yeah, right, yeah. why, like, change everything, right? Because it's going to take a lot of money to develop something like this, right, yeah. to completely overhaul. Like, like yeah, like, I think, like, for the main series game, it hasn't changed a ton, but, like, it works, and every three years, people are still buying the game and playing it, right, and still being, like, like at the end of the day, VGC battles, for the most part, has been unchanged for years, right? Like, ability is still around. It's just that they have new Pokemon, and then they usually have, like, different effect, right? This time it's Terrestrialization. Last time it was, like, Gigantamax, whatever, right? And then there's, like, Megas, whatever. So depending on what, like, spe- spe- specific specialty there, like, is in the VGC thing. But that's about it. Um, but I think this could drive some competition. Funny enough, I saw yeah. in one of the comments, too, because a lot of people were upset about it, about them stealing assets. Someone wrote in one of the tweets, like, has no one ever heard of Digimon? <laughs> <laughs> True. I, I don't uh, think Digimon copied as much yeah. though. Digimon was to be not fair, Digimon was wild. Like when you look Digimon back, Digimon was yeah. fun though. I never played oh, the game geez. or anything, but yeah. I watched it. I didn't play the game either. I watched the anime, and I, I remember I was really into it. At the time. Yeah, but I finished. Like, when you look at, when you look at all the Digimon, right? They're like, it's like the the Digi Digi. What they call them? Digi- Digilutions. Lutions. Digilutions. Yeah, yeah. I think they so. were just like animals with guns on them or like you know, what do you think power on this right now <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah that's, that's what true. power on this right now yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah it was so funny yeah i don't know what happened to digimon i actually saw like you know what they actually market. rebooted um and did a like a brand new you know when they like reboot the whole series and they do like yeah. go from beginning to one they, they did, did they that like, uh a couple oh. years ago i think or what well, didn't like succeed and apparently it was uh yeah apparently it was um like well received so but then how yeah. come i haven't heard of it since well i mean do you follow anime often or? i mean enough to to know that digimon well, is not one of the best animes of the, of the current <laughs> modern era yeah i know but like uh yeah well i don't know why you don't find it uh, uh, I, I thought it was kind of entertaining i watched a few episodes it was all right um i mean I imagine Pokemon for is like... definitely oh sorry go ahead no i was just saying imagine for digimon fans it would have been like way more yeah exciting um yeah i mean pokemon's definitely one of the strongest brands in the whole world so i'm sure a little competition won't scare them off but uh, but Mm -hmm. we'll see if they do that mmorpg thing yo yeah i'll go be also potentially like um because apparently this will most likely be the last game on the current switch so whatever the next console might be um you know they potentially have a lot more room to play with like, you that's know, so uh, so that's a but, yeah you're right this is a, actually a huge limiting factor for nintendo i feel like is all their games are on the console mm-hmm. they're never they don't have pc games right to my understanding yeah. so well, it's really hard but but it's really hard for them to do an mmorpg i feel like that's not based right, on pc yeah, yeah, true, like true, you think yeah. about like world of warcraft or like runescape or that's these true. mmorpgs they're on pc it's much easier oh, they're no good these. like 
console based MMORPGs and not really. I don't know of any. There might be, but I don't know of any. Yeah. Because I think there's just like it's way more limiting to have like different. I don't even know how you like set up all these servers. I mean, the next console might be right. And and the other problem is, I mean, I guess Pokemon like there's enough people that buy it, so they might. But MMORPGs are way more accessible than than stuff on consoles because you have to buy the whole console. Yeah. True, true. Whereas for MMORPG, a lot of times the games are just free and you just pay like a monthly subscription or you pay like sixty bucks for the game and that's it, right? So it's way more accessible. So you can get way more people and it feels like an actual world, right? Because you actually have millions of people, 100,000 people playing. Whereas on console, how many people can actually buy the $300 plus console and then the $67 game and then pay like a yearly or monthly fee? Yeah, true, true. I don't know. I'd say maybe more than you think, but yeah, that's, that's very... It'll be probably more than I think, but I think there is a much higher barrier of entry, right? And that's why I think a lot of people in like other countries, like international, like uh, other people, like in like Latam or something, there's not as much of VGC scene because just buying a Switch there, it's not always expensive conversion wise. Right? VGC scene is pretty. It's not, like, that big. it's not that big. It's not as big. No. Yeah, because I, I was actually talking to Gabby Snyder, the VGC commentator, and uh, about it, and she was saying that well, one, the conversion rate's not great, right? So like it costs like the dollars way stronger, so it costs quite a bit for their currency but also on top of that uh i think like is like import tax or something it makes it even more pricey so they're paying even more for a nintendo switch than we are and the conversion rates are already not helping them right so i don't know something that's like why that's why pokemon like, go is so popular in latium compared to here uh, compared to compared true. to vgc because everyone has a phone, phone and the app is free right so mm -hmm. um so there's a lot there's a lot more people yeah. that can play that do you know what i always said yeah if I ever got into an MMORPG ever again, yeah, that's... Which one did you play? That's my life over. I, I played RuneScape when I was younger, yeah, but I really, like... Oh, I, I feel like you I told me this because I, I mentioned RuneScape. RuneScape. Huh? Yeah, I, t I feel like you mentioned this because I said I played RuneScape. And I had that yeah, RuneScape yeah, story. yeah. But it's like, I, I realized how gripping a good MMORPG can be. Yeah. And it's like... RuneScape was a big thing. What did yeah. you do? Were, were you a fisher? I feel like you told me this, I was but I forgot. Bad, man. Yeah, I was like a... I was a miner initially, yeah. The mining and, and just smelting is developing. super like annoying yeah. though, because they're never next to each other. So exactly. you have to, yeah. it's, it's like such an inefficient skill to have. Whereas you're better off doing something like either fishing or woodcutting, because then you can just sell. But you don't get as much money off of that though. Is the problem? Mining wood and smelting cutting, has yeah. what to for fle uh, for fletching or whatever. No, you just just like the logs. The yeah, logs but what are, are you going to do with the logs? You're going to sell wood. Yeah, you just wood, sell wood but wood doesn't sell as much as armor and stuff and and weapons. Yeah, but then you, like like I said, you okay? So maybe maybe if you sell the ore to like someone else and then they do all the smelting, then maybe it's yeah. not too bad. Um, but yeah, you definitely have to like you can't be doing it all yourself because it's like it's like too much and you're not like you're not making as much use of your time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas you're probably better off just sticking to one skill. And Wait, just, remind like, me because I feel like we talked about this before. When when you played, was there the wilderness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and so you knew about the people that trick you in the world. It's like, yo, let's yeah, let's yeah. go team up with someone with this. You show them the rules, they just kill you and they steal all your stuff, right? Yeah, I or they'll go one time I escaped. <laughs> or they'll go on their Smurf yeah. account. They're like really high level, and they're like, ah, let me go on my other account. And it's just two of you, and like their account, this other account's not as strong. So when a group of guys come up at you, you're like, dude, homie, you got nothing on this account. It's, <laughs> it's a one v twenty here. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, so gullible back then. Teach you life lessons, though. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, don't trust no strangers on the internet. <laughs> you don't need no AOL messenger <laughs> for that, right? You, you learn real quick on RuneScape. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, anyway, go well, go win Melbourne so I could tell my RuneScape story. Otherwise, they got to wait 15 more episodes. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Two weeks, two weeks. So not a lot of time, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, uh, thinking, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like DM me your got, team uh, after this recording. I'll take a look at and see. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've got. I've actually. I was looking at a different team this morning, and I'm still kind of undecided. I have a feeling I know what you're going to tell me, and I have a feeling I'm also going to ignore it. But <laughs> I'm still going to. I'm still going to take something like. Okay. Uh, you got to stick with your guts, you know, even if it's against what I recommend. I'm at um. I'm at 200 points, championship points. Nice, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I've Wait, won. is that with that's locals and things? Locals, yeah. Because I got yeah, one yeah, six yeah. from Portland. And I won three uh, challenges and got third place oh, at another. Yeah. So that's like that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is that is that correct? Wait. So I got I like three first place, right? 
thirty. No, no, no. I, I have two hundred fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, cause, oh, yeah. Because because I got I got forty five for the three first place and ten for the third place. Yeah. Yeah. And no cup or anything like that. So no cups still, yet. Well, I have a cup coming up in for the go. Oh tour. yeah, the LA one. If yeah. I win that one. Yeah. You know my. I think that cool. same weekend. So I think we're gonna do. Or oh, I need to. Oh, I need to organize it. Uh, it's the weekend after the, Melbourne. In Oxford. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, the LA one's the weekend after Melbourne. Okay, okay, got you, got you. It's a weekend after or two weekends after. Two weekends after, I think. It oh, it's two maybe. weekends after. Okay. Yeah. Oh, still um, I'm gonna do uh, the Asia Pacific Championships, like final champions tournament stream. Then. Oh, okay. Did you want to host it on my channel again? Well, we'll talk about this later. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyway, um, that was a long one, but uh, yeah. thanks for joining. Yeah. And, uh, Safe. Shout out to Anacor's beard for growing real quick.